Today we're going to be embarking on a new RimWorld challenge, long form with uh, biotech, so grab your popcorn and get comfortable. We're going to be looking at uh, the new DLC, which has a load of new content. I did try play testing this through a bunch of different parts uh, over the last couple of days. We tried with mechs, we tried with like some of the sanguifages and spitting fire and all of the new abilities, but uh, it was just kind of a dizzying amount of content. So I decided to settle on just setting, uh, setting up the pregnancy system. Uh, and that didn't work out either because everyone was just getting miscarriages and people were dying in childbirth. So I decided, let's just see how children grow up in RimWorld. So I decided to set up with a, a, a group of tribals, 10 of them, and they're all kind of staggered at different ages. So right now we have from youngest to oldest, Orange and Cambiar, who are both two years old. They are infants. Uh, and they are being taken care of by the older children. Hakuja and Scorpion are both six going on seven. Um, and they're able to do some of the basic tasks like hauling things around. Actually, how are they hauling? I did not think that they could do this. Oh, well, okay, that is another capability that they have that I did not know of. Um, Banastra and Darklight are both nine going on 10. Biko and Braba are 12. And Grasshopper and Val are the eldest. They are 17. So in order from youngest to oldest, like infant, all the way up to young children, to older children, to preteens, to teenagers. And I've intentionally kind of staggered their ages so that we'll be seeing them progress over the first couple of days of this challenge. It looks like um, Hakuja and Scorpion have already progressed from where they were at age three because I had play tested this and they weren't even able to haul at all. So this is really interesting to just see colonists get more capabilities as they grow up. Uh, because very shortly, Cambiar and Orange should be rising from their infant stag being stagnant. Um, <laughs> but it does take quite a while. I really like the way that they implemented the aging system. It just takes so long. So I wanted it to feel a little bit more like progress. Anyway, um, like I said, pregnancy and children uh, we looked at the pregnant colonists and we were really totally happy with them. Uh, and I, there's a lot of robot and mech content, but it's also just kind of a dizzying amount. And I feel like I've done it with androids. So, um, foregoing a little bit of that and just doing some of the tribal start here. We'll probably do this for a, a good bit and try to get a decent colony set up. I want to see if these guys can fend for themselves because I'm kind of curious if medieval colonies are viable. Like, you know, uh, like a genetic li uh, clan of... I don't know why I said genetic clan. A clan of, I don't know, some type of warrior all living together. It would be really neat. Um, but they do have different capabilities as they get older. So Hakuja is only six and is not able to do almost all tasks. Um, actually can do some hauling. I didn't expect that. But really, it's pretty much just shooting and melee. And I believe social too. Like can socialize with other pawns. Oh, but no, this one it was a killer from birth. Hakuja is actually a killer, so is incapable of socializing. I neglected to see that. Um, Scorpion, however, should be fine to... Yeah, talk to other people. I don't know why I made that a Mortal Kombat reference, but yeah, I think that's quite fitting. Um, Cambiar and Orange, just infants, and we don't really know any of their traits right now. Banastra and Darklight should be fine to do most labor, but not like hire more intellectual things like artistic, medical, social, intellectual, as well as construction, so not like any heavy lifting. And we do have some incapable loves here too. Um, a cursed child, which actually has a bunch of, you were an accursed child as a kid, so you can't do quite a few things. Um, and Biko is just being lazy over here. Braba. I kind of want to see also too if Grasshopper and Val will, as they turn 18, start to enter a romantic relationship because then we would see the pregnancy thing kick in if any of that were to happen which it really isn't that interesting i mean beyond just they have a baby and then it takes two years to be born but if we could do that as like a cap to this i think that would be very interesting anyway um tbd we'll see what happens hopefully all of the children will survive <laughs> um <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, because most of them didn't in our last colonies. Anyway, we are here with the stream. Um, so again, thanks to, uh, Deadly Short and the Dead Corn and, uh, Crimson for the subs. Much appreciated, guys. So we'll be getting a, a healthy dose of backseating from chat. Um, and I did just set out some of their base so that they would have some tasks to get started on as we began. Um, I'm trying to think of, uh what my other goals are. I really just want to see a group of tribals come along and I want to see as these kids age, like if, 
if this colony is totally not viable, because I want to know if I can somehow create like an army of children for another base. I want to do a colony where it's one guy taking care of a hundred babies like the Sims challenge, but I'm like, oh no, how could I possibly do that? I could make him some sort of like mechanist and then that would make him super powerful. <laughs> but it just sounded so ridiculous. And I want, I want to see at what age in this game uh, children go from being like completely useless to useful in helping around the base. So I, th I thought that would be an interesting thing to explore. Yeah, like, are we going to get frustrated by this playthrough, or will it actually go really well? Um, hopefully the latter, but TBD. It could always go bad. It could always go bad. Um, hmm. Other stuff to say. Other stuff to say. Yeah, it's just really like a dizzying growth moment for Hakuja. So we actually had a growth moment. Has reached a bio bio uh, biological age of seven and experienced intensifies. a growth moment. She has demonstrated excellent personal growth. Okay, so Hakuja. Oh, this is interesting. So as they age up, you can actually choose their passions. This is so cool. Okay, so remember, Hakuja was, how old? Six. This gives me, ugh, this is so interesting. What do we need in our colony? I wonder if we can make them really passionate about something. I was wondering what would happen. So I did make it so that some of them will age up day by day. So over the first couple hours, weeks, and days, we'll we'll keep getting this message. Um, she's experienced a growth moment. She has demonstrated excellent personal growth. Blah, 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 blah. Capable of doing the following work. Okay, so all the capable ofs. And you can actually choose the trait as well. Wow. You could choose a bad trait as well. Who would choose, like, lazy and slow learner over some of these? Beautiful versus careful shooter versus jealous. I guess we'll take... It's a child, so let's give her a careful shooter. Um, and then let's say constr uh, constru I wonder what will happen if I give her construction, even though that she's incapable of it. You know, just for the sake of experimentation, I'm going to put construction here. Because I want to see if she becomes capable of construction if I give her this thing. Um, as well as, let's say... Mm, intellectual, no... Let's say she's going to be a horrible cook if we give it to her. So let's just say plants because that really can't hurt. And then crafting. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. She was at growth tier 8. Children at higher growth tiers get more trait and passions up to choose from more passions overall. Satisfying the learning need helps to... Oh. So I guess this is related to them going to school, which we haven't done any schooling so probably if a child had gone to school, which there is a whole system for that in the game, but we just haven't got that furniture yet. As you can see, the babies are just sleeping on the floor. There are cribs, but we just don't have them. Um, name them Children of the Corn, and then we could plant corn. That would be spiritually fitting if we did that, to be fair. It's a good idea. Um, I think for right now, we'll just be Children of the Rice until we, until we have food. If I had a trophy. If I had a trophy. Mm. Timmy Turner's dad. Or the Rugrats, Jesus. Hmm. Okay, so let's see. Has Hakuja actually grown at all physically? One thing that I regret is that I did set out bodies for them. Um, but I'm not sure if they're actually going to change so appreciably as they were kind of at this size to begin with. Um, but there was a part in Character Editor where you need to... And this is the unofficial update to Character Editor that I'm using. That's the one mod on here. Um, so not really anything that you see. I'm hoping that the child body will grow just to kind of demonstrate this. But they haven't really aged that much either. So we might not see anything. I mean, Grasshopper and Val are at their full size at 17. So there is that. There is that. Anyway, um... I always find that I have a hard time planning these things once I'm already streaming because I spend so much time kind of like trying to figure out what's going on. So um, I did plan out the base a little bit and just kind of the essentials where I eventually want a refrigerator once we've teched up. Um, a rec room, which I'm just kind of using as a stockpile right now. A stockpile room, which I'm using as a barracks right now. And then fields and more fields and a pen. Those are kind of like the essential things. But right now, I think they're just getting all of this stuff in here. And we have a growth moment for Vinastra. That's nice. 
Okay, so you're actually quite good at everything. Um, so she wasn't really very smart. She was at growth tier 7. Well, let's make you an optimist. And then let's increase your passion for crafting, because we could always use more of that. Yeah. Crafting and mining, that seems good. We gotta get those cliffs out. We gotta get that out of the way. It's Moody Wallace and Rusty Dry Brush. Thanks very much for the subs. Yeah, the doctor baby could fix us. Who doesn't love a good doctor baby? Orange is actually in a mental break right now, or he's in a funk. I don't know why that makes a difference. Um, Just because he's soaking wet. All right, well, I want to get that taken care of. Anyway, let's also make sure that we've got all the work assigned to these guys. They are hauling. They are doing most of the basic tasks they could do. I guess we're going to have to go in and like manage stuff a little bit more. Just because some of them seem to be getting passions for things as we go along. So most of it is an auto-selected. But I, I do want to keep people focused on their area of expertise, to be fair. We could use somebody else who's good at social, so maybe I'll do that one next as well. But I believe it's only around the age of 13. Or is it 17 now that I look at it? That they become capable of... I was 12 years old. Research work can only be done from age 13. Okay, so this is actually objective information. That is true. So yeah, like I thought, you have to wait until you're 13 to do research. Very smart 13-year-old we've got here. Smith work can be only be done from age 13. Apparently Smiths, too. Okay, Scorpion is getting old enough to fight Sub-Zero now. Oh, and we can actually change some of these passions to double passions. This is very interesting. Hmm. I guess we'll make you a fast learner, because that seems like a pretty OP trait to have. I try not to make them horrible children, but keep in mind that your children will probably be much more horrible, only because I didn't want anything to hold us back at the beginning of the colony. Yeah, let's make, like, double passions for everything. That would be nice. Three skills. What, we got a genius over here? Okay. All right, get good at social. Get good. We have a cow named Errol. Oh, wait, no, it's a bull. Anyway, I also did give us two, I mean, four cows. I can count. Because why not have cows? Guys, I deserve cows. I've never had a Rimworld colony with cows. Don't I? Am I on Randy? Uh, I, I'm playing with Cassandra, Blood and Dust. I think that Cassandra, Blood and Dust is probably my favorite storyteller. Not because, like, you know, I'm basic. Uh, but uh, because I feel like Randy just sends animals in disease. And then, like, not even raids or anything fun. I, I don't find Randy fun. I find Randy just annoying. Um... I know he's kind of like a meme. Orange became a ch Okay, so yes, good. They are, in fact, growing physically. Orange just got up and started moving. He decided that he was completely able to walk the whole time. It, uh, it's almost like he's deceived them all. Like, he's the guy from One one Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, you know? He can haul... Children can clean! Oh, I should have stayed on that dialogue just a little bit longer. Do I have that message again? Okay. Yeah, there we go. Grown up and become a child. He's now old enough to do the following work. Patient, bed rest, child hair... Uh, child care, child care, hall, clean, children can, do, children can do various types of work as they get older, they're able to become, to do more work types, various child specific recreational activities, and they need to wear child sized apparel, okay, this is new information for us, um, of course, a lot of these things were looking a little odd when I was putting them into, you know, like character editor, or trying to change people too much, because uh, I guess modders are going to have to adapt to the new children, I really like that we have all ages and shapes and sizes in the game now, though. All right, so what is everybody doing? Um, what, what are they doing? Okay, you are feeding the baby food to the baby, and you kids are watching. They're watching the baby be fed. This isn't work. Come on, kids, get to work. We can't just watch the baby be fed. Floor drawing? Oh my god, these tribal children, they have get to work, kids. They're All they're doing is drawing triangles on the floor. I did tell them that they could do anything, though. I suppose that this is like some form of childish activity. Children want to learn different activities. Current learning desire. 
Lesson taking. Oh, this is interesting. Cleaner will eventually remove the drawings. Okay, so they use chalk to... I guess this maybe, like, cultivates artistic skill in them or something? This is interesting. I suppose, like, however much you cultivate learning in a child... I mean, yes, I could make them into, uh, fighters, but... Uh, eventually we're all just going to have to defend our land from the wargs and huskies that will attack us. And why is Braba in a bad mood? I, I pretty much just intend on letting them go off into mood breaks for the first few days. I don't think anyone is, like, a totally out of their minds, so that should be fine. Also, this should be rice instead. Whoops-a-daisy. 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 Um, huh. Man, kind of a bummer that the children aren't doing a little bit more work. Like, they seem to be very much... Actually, the first day, they seemed very inclined to do work. I could force them to work. Oh, <laughs> the adults. That's how everything is going to sound. But I mean, like, you know, somebody's having a party. Biko's having a party. This isn't a very good party. Why are the adults like, yeah, kids throwing a party. Yeah, like, let's supervise. I mean, we're already at the night of the second day. Come on, folks. We gotta, we gotta get some stuff done. All right, I'm gonna just tell them all. Everyone is not allowed to have fun. Everyone, including the babies, work all day. At first, I thought I could tolerate it, but now, I mean, come on. Normal colonists, and you guys are pretty good colonists, would have had all this done by this day. So that's why I'm putting my foot down. The call off the good call off the party. None of this. Work, everyone, work. Don't even eat for a while. Come on, just get the good, get the house done. Sleep us under a roof tonight. Fun is canceled. I know I probably sent it, I mean, everyone will go into probably a spiraling mood break anyway, though, so just get used to it. I hate to say it, I just, I, I'm worried the cows will wander out, uh, uh, off along on their own. Okay, a growth moment for dark light. So dark light is, uh, has turned 10, turned 10, um, an intellectual 10-year-old. We do need somebody with a double passion in this eventually, though, so I'm going to take that. And we'll take the crafting, just because nobody else is good at it, and social, because we need somebody with a double passion in it. Um, super immune is really nice. Fast learner is good. Jogger is too good. Oh, man, all of these are really good. Um, but you're incapable of hauling, so the jogger is kind of useless. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say... Fast learner would be crazy good for these two traits, or these three, two or three traits. But I'm thinking that super immune is just so OP that I really like it. So I'm going to take that. Keep him alive before he learns, you know? That's kind of what's what's important to me. Cambiar. I was getting, like, some Pete Complete vibes. I really like that Pete Complete series where he had a guy named Cambiar. Am I going to turn on manual priorities? Uh, no, I really don't think that this is that necessary right now. Because, like, I just have to do a lot of this. But I will show you what I would do. Sometimes people put ones in this, and it scares me when people put ones on their manual priorities. Because they shouldn't. That should only be for things that are, like, absolutely urgent. I think that, in truth... The highest priority that you leave anything at should be a two. So that way, if you want everybody to cut plants or something suddenly, you put them all to a, a one, and then you could just change it back. But I've seen, cr I have friends who are crazy and they do this anyway. Here we go. Just make sure that you're doing hauling. The children are automatically set not to tick on their tasks that they're capable of doing once they're able to do it, it seems. Oh wait, no, that's orange. Orange is, no, orange is a child now, not a baby anymore. Hmm. No, even do uh, Dr. One... I don't even think that makes sense in case if they need bed rest. No, it should be something that you need to go in and manually do, in my opinion. Like, for example, if you want everyone to just stop whatever they're doing and cut plants, that should be one. Eh, anyway, I don't know. I have yet to hear a, a good explanation that I liked. And if I'm an ignoramus, then I'll remain that way. Okay, now take everybody's priorities that you want them to, like, focus on. 
And things that they're passionate about, and then make those twos. That's always been my kind of MO. Unless if, like, it just doesn't matter because you have so many people on it, like if it's a hunting thing. That kind of makes sense. That's what I like to do. Okay. Oh, whoopsie daisy. Okay, another thing that I should have done is also put, obviously, obviously, put patient and doctoring as number twos as well. Doctoring should, whoops, there we go. Doctoring should also be a two. Bed rest should also be a two. There we go. Child care in general should be... Eh, now I don't actually know, like, how urgent is the the baby? I think the baby is pretty urgent because we don't want to just, like, let the baby go. The basic stuff also, too, should be a two. Okay, and then from here on in, you yes, we could work on the passions. So we'll individually take all the passions just so that they focus on the thing that they're going to be good at. And that's always kind of been the way that I've played RimWorld. And then if there's somebody who's just useless with everything, you go ahead and you make cleaning a, or hauling and cleaning it too. So like, for example, the children, although they're passionate about these things, I just kind of want them to haul and clean. Yeah, like the children can just haul things around and clean. That's that's pretty much their job. And the baby will just sit there. The baby, the baby, you can just sit there, the baby. Anyway, things that I wanted. First off, I wanted to focus on making a barracks, uh, then getting the fields. We've planned the base out more or less. Then we'll take in the cows, and then I want to work on heat and shelter because we are rather low in the world. Oh, I thought we didn't have to generate the planet anymore. I, I thought that the game had actually been optimized to the point we don't need that, but we just got that screen again. Because it will get quite cold here in this part of the world, as you can see. So we want to take care of that soon enough. Uh, we are in September, so we've got a little bit of time. But uh, yeah, just another thing on my mind a little bit here. So we, we will want to get some area that we could heat and keep everybody warm in. Because uh, uh, we don't want to all die of exposure to the frost. That would... That's not my plan, anyway. Yeah, it looks like we're going to get all the wood in before it deteriorates. And then I think we can actually even just start chopping down more of this wood over here. Um, as for other stuff... Hmm... How am I liking the new expansion so far? Really liking, I would say, this system. I know it's not as maybe contentful or as exciting, perhaps, as some of the other ones. I think um, I think we already had a healthy dosage, dosage of that from mods. So I didn't really feel like we needed it. Biko has become an adult now. Oh, wait a minute. Biko's only 13. So... <laughs> Oh, uh, what? <laughs> All right, uh, okay, I guess 13 is an adult, or maybe that's the text. Big, uh, fine, okay, um, let's make him industrious. Why would we make him some of these things? Nice that you get to choose good traits over bad traits. Maybe, like, if they had had a bad childhood, you get only bad traits or something like that? I wonder if that has, uh, 7, 10, 13, yeah, so the growth parts are... Zero, you're born. Three, you turn into a toddler. I don't know if these are the exact names. Seven, you're like kind of a younger child. Ten, you're a preteen. Thirteen, you're a teenager. And eighteen, you're an adult. We also had kids like younger than seven doing some hauling, I believe, if I observed that correctly. So there does seem to be something else that happens in the interim there. But I don't think it's to, uh, actually designated as a change. Anyway, uh, what stuff are we bad at in our colony? You're pretty much going to be a cook and with plants. Let's give you double crafting just in case. Some of these colonists are getting very good. I mean, they were like slightly randomized to be better, but not by that much. It seems like if you have a kid, though, this is making it worth it to go through with like raising the kid properly because it seems like you could shape them much better than just any random colonist that comes through. And I like that because how painful would it be to raise a kid for like so many years and not cultivate the traits that you want? A lot of like regretful parents are hearing this information and wishing that they were playing RimWorld with their kids, you think? But yeah, I don't know, like, uh, <laughs> I thought, um, I, I thought that that just seemed like a little bit idealistic for... <laughs> 
the way that children actually grow up in in like you have that the apple can fall pretty far from the trees sometimes you know to be fair to be fair scary to have kids scary to have kids you don't know if you'll be raising a crazy person you know anyway well what else do we have who else do we have in our colony you're not very good at anything so i'm gonna give you i'll give you a bow because i don't want you to get near to anyone but I also don't want you to shoot one of your own people. That would be bad. Biko, you're incapable of violence. And you're a... He's a big boy now. He's really gotten very large. Dark light is pretty good in melee. Not really good at anything, though, to be fair. Oh, my gosh. Scorpion... Wait, Scorpion is actually very good. Okay, Scorpion, you will be our combatant. You're only seven, but... Well, we need all the help we can get. Um, and then who is the the elder one? Dark light, you're not very good at anything. I'm gonna give you the recurve bow anyway. Is anyone good at shooting? You're not good at it. You're not good at it. I mean, like, is anyone really good at it? Ban Astra. Well, you have the Pila that has very few, sh or it shoots less frequently. So we do kind of want them to count. Okay, that makes sense. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. All right, and we're getting a little bit more baby feeding, but Cambiar should grow up over the next couple of days. Um, hmm. Yeah, I really am getting that. Every time I say Cambiar, I feel like I want to talk like Pete Complete. I really like the way Pete Complete narrates those videos. Those were nice. I learned a lot from the, the series. Uh, he, he gave, like, pretty deep RimWorld knowledge, but it was pretty accessible to start watching that series, too. That kind of got me into the game a while back. Because everyone was giving me tips and saying, oh, how do I learn? It's a hard game to learn. Or, like, it's pretty easy to get into, but it's hard to master. Or it takes a while. Okay, we got some guy with a, a big, thick mustache Come, Oh, wait, no, that's not a mustache. That's a veil. Would that it were a mustache. <laughs> Would that it were. All right, we're going to go ahead and make another grow zone over here as well. All right, so grasshoppers on a mood break but that's okay because i mean it'll eventually buff him the babies can be like very upset but they don't really do anything about it they can start crying but they're pretty much always crying so it doesn't make much of a difference so i think that's just fine now we're starting to get a little bit more done here and hopefully getting more wood out of the ground um but some other stuff we probably want to clear the the trees for the cows cows as you know dislike trees objectively all of them. Never met a cow who liked a tree. We'll also probably go ahead and plant something a little bit more long-term. Um, you know, the fertile soil might be good for rice just because we get quick uh, crop turnover, but I'm going to go ahead and do corn here just because I want to get started on some of it. Um, as for actually rice again, and then we'll do corn over here because corn... Like, we'll get one good harvest of corn a year, but I doubt much more than that. So let's do another grow zone over in in here. We'll do another grow zone in here. And another one. Another one. This could be hay grass because we are going to need some of that. Yes, of course we are. And then we'll do one more in here. And that's going to be... Cotton heel root, what did I want? Uh, that'll be the corn. That'll be for the corn. And then we can start getting ready with other stuff, too. We are going to need cloth, because we are, like, ancients, so this is important. Um, let's do that over there. I, I might revise these grow zones a little bit later on, but let's just get it started this way for now. Like, they're, they're a little bit ambitious, but I want to get plenty of the crop. And then we'll also start to get some... Let's get a little bit of smoke leaf and maybe some medicine growing in here. Um, this could be, I guess, the heel root first, and then just go from there. We could also just harvest that in nature, though. Again, don't want to give them too, 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 too much work, but, I mean, we do have this room up now. Let's go ahead and floor it. Uh, and this will eventually just be their kind of, like... Oh, no. Oh, no. It is not as I intended. Well, we can get a marble floor going. Let's do that, then. Marble flooring... Oh my gosh, fancy living here we come. F 
Fancy living, here we come. Let's get a little research bench going. Um, that I'm gonna put in here, just in their barracks. Yeah, we're gonna need that right away. I attend double A meetings for my recovery from drugs and alcohol, and it saved my life. I also watch double A because his philosophical voice soothes the spirit. Honestly, like pretty based comment. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that they're somehow relevant together. Hey, philosophy of unity, thank you very much for the four months. And my productive homophone with uh, my nickname and uh, an organization uh, dedicated to the advancement of addicted individuals. Thank you. I appreciate that. Hopefully it brings a positive spin to everyone's day. Hey, Strayos, thank you very much for the prime. Rel relatable, <laughs> relatable. Hey, man, with all the numbers at the end of your name, thank you very much for the very nice comment. Grasshopper is no longer picking out on food. Okay, so we're making our way along in the world. The cows haven't so far run off. Gift from the kinship. Oh my gosh, this guy gave us some components? We're just mere tribes people. We don't even know what to do with that. That's like that's like giving me a, a high five. I wouldn't even know what to do. I would probably just explode with confusion. Um, what else can we do? I feel like there's almost too many tasks I've set out for them to do. Too much work and not enough stuff. They do need some steel here. Let's go ahead and just deconstruct some of this. We could also deconstruct these floors over here too. Because, I mean, I just need stones in truth. Truth be told, I just need stones. Good! These kids are, like, moving stuff around. This is great, man. This is fantastic. Look, they're gonna get the cows in there any minute now. Look at this field. Uh, okay, now we can have the animals. Good. Or we'll do cows in there. I mean, you know, we'll take care of the cows in there. Each point eighty six Count that should be... Total consumption. So I'm assuming that by checking the cow... Count that can be supported with no other animals in the bin. Okay, so then this is basically no cows can be supported by what's in here. So I may actually need to go ahead and grow the hay grass in here. I really am not too good with the animal stuff. Is there a best crop that you can just grow in these pens in order to support the animals? Because otherwise I will keep some hay grass outside, but perhaps I should just grow the crop in there as well. I'll do that. I'm really not too good with the animals because I didn't spend a lot of time on 1.3. Because I never got cows, and the one time we got cows, I was playing with Jimmy. You know, RuneScape Jimmy? We played a game together, and then our, we got some cows, but then the cows ran away. And it was the worst day of our lives. It was horrible. I never... I still haven't gotten over that. Um, See, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty upset about that. I think we'll shrink this hay zone out here, though. Hey, Zone. <laughs> How you doing, Zone? <laughs> hey, Zone. Just leave a stack of rice in the pen. Yeah, something like that, ideally. But I, I just want to have something simple that the cows can munch around on, you know? Yeah. And I don't want to give the cows too much room. Because you know what they say. If you ga give a cow too much room, then... Something bad's going to happen. Um, <laughs> yeah. Don't give cows so much room, you know? They might take advantage of it. They might take advantage of it. All right, Brava became an adult. Uh, and Brava has actually physically grown. Now, did she... She looked like a miniature lady before, and now she looks like a normal lady. Um, hmm. I guess we'll make you really good with animals. Like, she could be the Eliza Thornberry of our, of our squadron. Intellectual would be good eventually when she... Oh, yeah, she's 13, so she could be a researcher, obviously. And Sanguine is quite a good trait. All of these other ones are quite bad. Good thing that we get the options. I wonder if there's some kind of, like, point system going on in the background. Bianca is pregnant. Okay, that's a cow, not a person. We've already seen animal pregnancy. Strangely enough, we did, now that I mention this, we did have animal pregnancy in RimWorld, but we didn't have human pregnancy. If I give a cow too much room, it might develop sentience and kill me. Exactly. This is 
This is what I would have been saying for so long. Thank you for hearing me out on that. All right, let's go have a research project on, um, what do we have? Stone cutting. I think that's pretty important. I want to have that happening. I mean, we will be kind of like low tech for this, but don't look down on us because we're low tech. Um, oh, we've got more wood out there, out there in the wilderness. You know, maybe like we're the, we're the ones who have it right. Like the Luddites, you know? All this technology was too much of a good thing. Like this whole social media thing. Hang on a second, we have a mad squirrel. He's upset that the cow has so much room. We'll just let him, let him take out his anger. Hey, Strayos, thank you very much for the prime. All right, here it comes. All right, let's gather all of the children for war. It's like the drums of Mordor playing. Okay, come on, everybody. Smile on your brother, everybody. Grab your bow. All right, somebody shot it. There we go. Um, hmm. Production. We'll have a butcher table here. Pretty sure that's fine to just do outside. Okay, so what I've decided is eventually this is going to be the kitchen area. So let's go ahead and let's put a butcher room like kind of out here. Yeah, like there. So we'll put the table there. Somebody might attack the table, but that would actually be pretty decent because I wouldn't mind it if a raider came in and started attacking my table. That would, to me, pretty much be like a best case scenario. There were mods for human babies. True. Although I thought that the human baby mods... Like an animal, when it's born, it's pretty much... Like it's ready to go ahead and take care of itself. Like if you've ever seen a, a baby whale in the wild, you know? Um, like it's, it's independent. But a baby human really needs some more help. Hang on a second, why did I not undraft you? It's so funny to see this, this small boy eat this. Wait, it's a she. Small girl. Small girl eating meat. Pemmican. Small, wait, no, you're not a small boy. You're a, he's more of like a thick boy now. I guess that's what they go. They go from small to thick. Actually, he's just, he, he is rather like, rather much of a hulk, the way that he's built, Grasshopper. He is a large man. But all right, good, we're getting all of this stuff back into the base. Um, We should probably start designating some rock hauling for uh, Grasshopper has collapsed due to extreme exhaustion. Can some, hang on a second, Brava, can you bring him back to, yeah, go to bed, man, Jesus. Why did you do that to yourself? Just take care of yourself, bud. Well, we've still got a little bit of time left. It's the 14th of September. It's been, how many days? It's been a few days. Soon we'll be getting ready for the harvest. Phew, that was a lot of work. All right, let's see how much our pen can support now. Nutrition growth, nutrition consumption, 3.42. Well, eventually we'll have more food in there for them. In the meantime, let's go ahead and harvest some berries because it looks like we're running out of pemmican. Um, and before the harvests come. Well, I do want some heal root around. That would be good. So I'll double click that and get that going. But then also two. Okay, here we go. Berry bushes. Just all over the map, we'll harvest those. We might have to eat one of the cows if things don't really go well. But also the wildlife. Um, where are the safest animals to hunt? I think I'm just going to start them off on easy stuff. Hares, rats, uh, squirrels. Maybe the actually the turkeys will give quite a good harvest when we consume their flesh. And they're rather easy to hit because they're so large. The does we could do as well. The red fox could take vengeance upon us, though. I don't really want to peeve the wild boars. That would not be uh, a good end to the day. All right, I think we could start to take out some of these zones, right? No, yeah, I, I wouldn't want to hurt the fox. It's too cute. It's a nice... 
It's a nice, it's a nice boy. Nice boy. Ah, like, it's suddenly very peaceful. And I am reminded of why I enjoy the... I just, I like planning in this game. Like I, like I often mentioned, there was used to be this old... Oh, well, it's still up there on YouTube. Uh, there was another content creator named Lore, Lore Plays, and she made a video on planning a base, and she used the color-coded mod. I thought this was a very nice way to show base building, and I actually learned a thing or two from that video. Like, I'd been playing for a while, but it's a very satisfying and efficient and, like, pretty way to set up a base. Um, and I, I've kind of used that as a, as a, um, like a template ever since. Really, you need to start off with where the fields are. So I just took this entire map and I said, like, where are the best, most centrally located fertile fields? So not really many good options, but here is pretty good. We had a hollow in this area. So I said, okay, we kind of make this into a stockpile area or something. Let's start off with the fields. So I built those two and then I said, okay, that's got to be near the fridge. So the fridge had to be kind of like adjacent to those two. I wanted to create a walkway still through the center of the colony, so I put this here. But then I said, okay, fields, fridge, kitchen, and you kind of want the fridge to be near the dining area, so I decided dining area here. And then once you do that, then you say, okay, where is the bulk of my colony located? I put the stockpile zone here, and then I kind of had a natural wall around this. So I said, okay, then the rest of most of the colony's activities can take place in here, workshops, and then bedrooms usually are around the periphery. The only thing that's weird about this is that sometimes raiders path to the bedrooms, so they'll target like weird spots on your colony, but I don't think that matters that much. I mean, bedrooms aren't really the worst things to get attacked by raiders. I wouldn't want them attacking like my whole central work area, to be honest with you. Like the bedroom stuff can be replaced. Oh no, this foxo is trying to claim our meal. Get it anyway. Come on. Get that bad turkey. Trying to get away from Thanksgiving. Look there. Oh my god, this is the... Can you at least kill it? Just don't put it through so much pain. Jeez. So, which of our colonists have leveled up? Biko and... Or aged up. Biko and Brava are now 13. Dark Light is 10, Banastra is 10, Scorpion is now 7, Hakuja is 7, Cambiar is 2, so Cambiar still hasn't actually leveled up, so Cambiar is still a, a mere baby. But Orange is going around and hauling things over here and there, and uh, taking care of himself. You're digging at the marble. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna just build a copy of this, because I don't want you to spend so much time in here. Uh, just kind of banging your head against the wall with that task. But Val is now 18. And Grasshopper is also 18, so we didn't actually get a message for them leveling up. That's kind of interesting. All right, our faction is now named Da Babies, and we're at the Cow -a Bungalow. There we go. Uh, thank you very much for the good naming chat. Uh, good job, good job. All right, so Da Babies. Though some of us aren't Da Babies anymore. Grasshopper the Vengeful is now 18, but let's see how his social relation uh, can be. He doesn't really like cram can be because can has been crying a lot um, What about Val? What does he think of Val? Chit chat, okay, I'm kind of curious as to whether they will continue to have more kids or like is there any limitation that you encounter because Normally, the storyteller wants you to have, I think it's between three and eight colonists. That's usual for RimWorld colonies. That's why you don't just get, like, crazy large colonies most of the time. Um, oh, also, too, we do have this giant mech exostrider remains here. I'm just going to leave this here for the entire playthrough. I think that this is what you need in order to get mech technology. Now, somebody told me that it's been spawning on every single map. But I don't know, so I'm inclined to not provoke it. Uh, because I am afraid of it. And because we are tribal people and it's a very advanced ancient civilization of robots. Um, so I am necessarily afraid of that. Alright, one thing I'm also going to go ahead and do is... I'm just going to tell them to start researching a little bit earlier here. I didn't put that in as a number two priority. Um, and I wonder if there's anyone who can do that first. Eh, let's just leave it at two. Um, no, actually somebody. Grasshopper, you know what? Why don't you get off of your other tasks? Just because I think we need you as a dedicated researcher. Yeah, good. 
Because he's the only he's the only guy who can think without like banging his head against a wall. He likes it. Or he'll learn to like it. Hmm. Can somebody get me a TLDR to get children to use the classroom? Nine-year-olds destroying my colony. I built a classroom, but IDK had to make him use it with the teacher. I don't actually know, but I know that they have a learning meter. Um, we, speaking of which, we still have yet to get into the schooling and so on and so forth. But we should have complex furniture, which I'm guessing it's under that. Yeah, toy box. Hmm. We have toy box. But there's so many new technologies now. I do hope that they lower some of the costs of the technology, because that's a lot to research. I mean, just look at all that you have to do. 16,000 for a waste pack atomizer. Dear God. How could this happen? Though there are enough mods that make people into, like, super geniuses, and they get technology super fast. So, uh, I guess I can't really complain about that. Um, it seems as though, yeah, we've got a lot of people idle now, because a lot of people, all that they're really capable of doing is hauling. Okay, so let's give them a, a, some gargantuan task that's impossible to complete, but we'll do them one by one. At least my colonists have got, like, a basic area set up. Um, we're researching that. Let's go ahead and start putting things away into the areas that we want them. So, I didn't actually designate out workshops before, but if this is going to be our stockpile zone, well, we can put workshops probably, like, over here. And pretty much, like, all the way out to there-ish, we could build a wall. Um, and I'm a fan of, like, one big workshop for most of the stuff. But stone cutting can get slightly tricky. Just because stones are extremely ugly. Um, they're so ugly that everyone dies. <laughs> I will hit, hit you with a SpongeBob reference. So we do have some stones, don't we? We have some cut stones in here, don't we? Maybe not. Maybe I stand corrected here. There we go. Well, I guess we'll make more of it out of wood because we just have to make it out of, well, something. Um, okay, let's just start putting a bunch of double doors on everything because we can. Um, yeah, okay, good. This is going to make use of more of my wood. Oh, no, actually, I, I don't want that quite out there because that's going to be uh, for the defense area. I will do that. And then we're going to put in... Uh, I don't really want more wooden walls, but we'll do like a column here to start to hold up the rest of the building in case if it falls down. And then let me just start to give them larger tasks to work on that are complex and annoying. Oh, we can also give them recreation, so let's do a hoopstone ring. Yes, everyone loves playing Hoopstone. Favorite game for generations. Who even knows what it's about? It might be a while before we get wiring as well. So let's go ahead and make some area where they can deliver the rocks. I'm thinking that they could get rocks for... Well, they could get rocks from anywhere, so... Like, we'll have a rock room. Or maybe just shelves for the rocks. Let's start with that. We can get shelves, right? No, we can't even get shelves? Who even are we? All right, then tables it is. Tables, 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 tables. Uh, I guess I'll do 10 seats. Or eight, maybe eight will be enough. I, I can't really s feasibly see them all eating at once. That just seems difficult to seat them all at. 95, only 28 for this. But I'm going to do it anyway, just because what else are they going to do with all of this wood? And it'll get their construction skills up. Okay, that's one thing. Um, also, uh, most of them don't have any clothes, so we should probably start to work on that. Um, we do have the cotton growing out of the ground. Maybe we'll grow just a little bit more. Because it's always a buzzkill when the cotton is done growing and then you just, you just don't have enough. There we go, cotton. Summer. Okay, good. Everything will grow faster. Low baby food, low everything. But Cambiar, please tell me that Cambiar is going to... What is his age? Okay, um... Three quadrums, four days. Okay, so Cambiar will grow up in about 11 days. Actually, I did set Cambiar back quite a lot. Because I wanted to see if it would be, like, totally impossible to take care of a baby. Because babies... Like, I thought they would be such a liability. They aren't really that bad. They piss people off because they cry. In real... I mean, as well as in real life. 
but especially in RimWorld, because colonists are volatile and going to f you know fly off the rails at any moment in this game. That's just always the way it's been. Do we have a remove stumps button? Okay, it's just chop wood again. Good to know. Good to know. Hmm. Fueled stoves. Oh, we could start to mine into this mountain. All right, well, then we'll start to mine into the mountain. And they call it a mine. And it's mine. We'll do, like, kind of a strip mining into here. Just because I want to see if we can find more iron under the... Or rather, uh, steel under the mountain. Okay, and then the other thing we'll do is butcher creature forever. We need to do that. I'm pretty sure we've got all these turkeys lying around. Um, actually, where do we have... Yeah, there we go. Get those turkey corpses back. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, and then let's get some actual, uh, let's get some food production going. All right, so we do need fueled stoves here as well. Um, and we'll put that into our soon-to-be kitchen. For right now, it's just going to be outdoors. Uh, just for a moment while we get this thing going. Actually, let's go ahead and do... I'm just going to cancel this for a moment. I don't want them to do that. I want them to mine out the kitchen area. I want to try to keep things in the same place because I just find that it helps me keep things organized. Um, however, we don't need to mine out. Well, we'll try to get the surface area going. That's important. Okay, good. At least the young kids have some like way of making themselves useful by mining into the mountain. I mean, they're miners and they're miners. <laughs> get it? <laughs> oh my gosh! That's hilarious. And then they go off insulting everyone. You're under arrest, fiend. What did you create, a masterwork stool? You're a tool for creating a masterwork... You created another masterwork stool. This guy's on a... What is he on? Oh wait, no, it's just one of them. Oh no, it was a masterwork table! What the heck? What a great day. What a great day for our young civilization. Minor miners. Don't worry, he's just a minor miner. A minor miner? Yeah, a minor miner. And yeah, he's mining. Not grasshopper, think harder. Think harder, grasshopper. So how stupid is he? <laughs> Speaking of which... I'm running out of water. But the colony is just getting started. Man. 500%. Why are we all trying to play the game so hard? Why does it need to be so difficult? Do you just like to watch a man struggle? 500%. No, we're at like 50%. <laughs> but we're playing with a bunch of children because why would we want to make things more difficult for them? <laughs> uh... Sorry, I had a time when everyone thought I was very bad. At the, most people still think I'm very bad at this game. And I was very insecure about it because I was playing a lot of the game. So, so I tried to keep making the game harder and harder. And then I was just like, nope, this isn't working at all. So I just stopped trying at it. And it's been exactly that way ever since. We're being raided by the virus blighters. So we might start to see some more of the new content in the game with like all of these biological people attacking us. So these people are all genetically ugly and they're bad with animals and they're bad with art but then there's probably something that they're very good at not i haven't seen it yet um he's a waster toxin adapted makes consume some form of psychite virus blighters i'm assuming that this guy is probably able to spit toxic like stuff at us we had another colony previously where everyone could spit toxic at their enemies. It was somewhat effective, but it, it wasn't that great, in my opinion. I, I mean, I'm sure you could make it really powerful, but I think we're just going to stick to weapons for the most part. We do have some kind of genetic thing running in our people's line, though. The babies. Because we did have, like, some form of genes and inheritance that was going on. At least that we could take care of. I mean, you could make everybody in your colony look alike. Like, you could have a big tribe of Vikings who they're all blonde and long-haired and have beards and attack people's villages and stuff like that. If you want to, um, the choice is yours, I guess that is to say. That is to say. 
Ah, uh, what a grand haul. A grand haul. I'm wondering at this point, should I just put down wood floors just so they don't get go as insane? I think I'm going to. Because I'm like... We gotta give these people a little bit more time to grind in construction. I'm w afraid of fire, but at the same time, I'm more afraid of them just like kind of going on mood breaks and hating their lives. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, everyone, come on. And then smooth the surfaces there. Smooth, boy, those surfaces. Smooth them away. Leo looks like a Viking with that mop of hair he has. Kind of have to agree. Like, I'm slightly intimidated now that you mention that. We've got Braba on a murderous rage. That's not good. Maybe we could take advantage of this somehow. Now I'm going to need to lay her down in a bed. I think I'm just going to put this baby, baby sleeping spot. We didn't have this option before, did we? I'm pretty sure that we didn't have a baby sleeping spot. I mean, they laid the baby down. Anyway, put that baby down, you know. Okay, she he has a 100% chance to arrest her. We still have that raider named Rusty out there. He's beginning his attack, right? Well, either way, as soon as we arrest her, you're under arrest, fiend. Bring her into the... Bring her down for arrest. There we are. Good. Rest there for a few minutes. Uh, and actually we're gonna release you immediately because uh, we're about to be attacked and we, we kind of need you. Um, aren't you capable of already releasing Bravo? Okay, release her immediately after her murderous rage and hopefully she, she won't go on another murderous rage. Give her back her weapon because she for some reason doesn't use it when she's on a murderous rage. Almost everyone is about to break, so let's just get all of the people who aren't upset and get them to fight this guy. Which, that happens to be only three people. Uh, that is actually somewhat uh, unnerving and bad. But let the crazy people stay at home. Oh, there he is. He, he was coming down. I missed him. I missed him. All right, is everybody equipped with a weapon? I probably should have checked this before we left home, but... Well, you aren't. Um, okay, why don't you go pick, pick up a piece of wood? And then we'll fight him. Dude, no, just shoot him with your bow. You didn't need to do that. Was one of the guys may? Oh, you were melee, so you decided to do that. Well, you just stand guard over here, sir, and you... Actually, I really don't want you to get hurt. So, you have a peg leg? When did this happen? I must say that these children are very strong individuals, able to both fend for themselves and mire through she uh, mine through sheer rock cliffs. Scorpion, just Iquad. Is it Iqua or Iqua? Because I know that one that is frequently mispronounced is, I would say, Pila, or Pila, but it's actually Pila, because it's a Latin word. And I was told that this was, actually, the singular is supposedly Pilum, because it's the Latin neuter word. Uh, so these are like Pila, like Pilums that he's throwing, but it, the plural is Pila. So very weird pronunciation, but I don't know, the, the things that you learn from the YouTube comment section on the internet from... Uh, overly educated people. Um, somewhat helpful, though. Anyway, we've got this, like, growth tier on our kids because they are... I guess they're learning from making chalk drawings on the ground. Or they were making chalk drawings on the ground. And, oh, my gosh, we totally forgot to tell them not to just work all day. I am going to let them to just do... Let them just do whatever they want now because I forgot that I made them work forever. No, enjoy your lives. Stop going on so many mood breaks. Though you were very efficient back then, so maybe I'll... Turn you all back into forced labor. Um, sometime over the next couple months, you know. I mean, so far they've been doing really good with just working themselves to the bone. Like, until they go crazy, c completely insane. Uh, sleeping in a heap, though. Like, how... Uh, you know? Like, if only we had these relics of our pasts. Sleep. The baby is throwing up. F oh, food. Major food poisoning. When did his left arm get shot off? This was before our. This must have been before our. Uh, our playthrough. My God. 
It doesn't even say that when that happened. Maybe like that was, maybe he just was born without it. My God. Oh, was it the Troubled Pass intro? Hide away. Overprotective parents encouraged him to stay at home nearly every day. Though he had a lot of time to read and pursue crafting hobbies, he never developed normal. Some of these things don't make any sense because he's only two still. Maybe he was like reincarnated out of out of a bad situation. Like he had to respawn, you know? Or he would have lost his whole life. I don't know, guys. I'm just speculating. It could be. It could be. As Alan Watts said, these are just games we're playing. Uh, hide in room on Darklight. All right. It's fine. Good rise and shine, folks. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Get up. Get to work. Get to work. Come on, chop, chop. Chop, chop. Hide in room, Scorpion. All right, good. Getting the mental breaks. I like a good mental break, though, don't you? Because I know how to handle almost all of them now. And as long as I have enough of a volume of colonists, they can usually arrest each other. And everything's just completely -E fine. A-E-W-A-M-O-S-H-I-N-D-E-I-R-U. Based common. Triple G. Thank you very much for the 300 bits. Appreciate that. Hmm. I mean, I don't think that they're already dead, though. This is the only game where you could have a baby in all of its limbs. Place. I mean, like, maybe he's growing to grow up to be a fine pirate. You know, maybe he has ambitions, guys. Come on, let's try to keep an open mind to different lifestyles. All right? Maybe you don't decide to live that way. Bubba Chuck, thank you very much for the sub. Appreciate that, Bubba. All right, I mean, we're coming to, like, the end of one harvest. I'm excited for Cambiar to stop throwing up and grow up. Grow up and stop being a baby, Cambiar. Ten days. Okay, he's got only, like, five more days left until he stops being a baby. Biko and Scorpion. See what happens when I take everybody off of work? They all start going crazy out of nowhere. Jeez, Louise. Jeez, Louise. Are these cows full? Almost full. Love a good full cow. You know, we should probably get all of those stones out of the room. I knew I was missing something when I when I did this. Um, stone location. Stone location. We want the stones somewhere kind of out of the way where they won't have to walk all the time. So I think I'm going to put them in the corner of this. Well, that won't actually be the corner I was there. Hoping to see you play more Stardews. Hey, here we go. Star. Man, even Twitch can't pronounce the Star Days. Oh, wait, no, I was just in the other order. Oh, yeah, we'll be returning to Star Days. Absolutely. No, I really like that one. I thought that was like the best. Well, also, first off, just the dev. Like, what a guy, just so responsive and nice. So I will most certainly be coming back when there's more content. Um, but also, too, like, I, it took me a while to get into it. Because I didn't understand some of the systems. But it's almost like suddenly out of nowhere, I have too many games to play. A very good problem to have. But yeah, we'll be back to that one. That game was starting to feel very cozy. I think one of my favorite things about that was the soundtrack, though. Which I didn't expect. It's always hard to find a game with a good soundtrack. Especially one in EA like that. Like, it's not the first thing I imagine you'd think about as a dev. But that game... That game's soundtrack slaps. Why are we not working on this construction, people? Is it just that no one is... Oh, no one is really... Oh, it's because they're all bad at construction, so they feel insecure about constructing. No, it's okay. You can construct. I want you to do it even though that you're bad at it. It's going to help you. It's going to help you. In fact, do a lot of it because you're bad at it. Because you're bad at it. You should intentionally fail. Get better. Get good. Get good. Do I plan on doing a Halloween stream? Eh, not really going to be governed by Halloween. Maybe we'll do some Zomboid, though. That'll be fun. Or I've got a, a good new Zomboid playthrough cooked up. Did it say the two-year-old's biological age was 89? Um, no, that would be his... Uh, what was I going to say? He's biologically too, but in terms of how many times he's been around the sun or something like that. 
or what planet he lived on before. Maybe he lived on a planet where one year there was like 89 years here. I believe that's how that works. Like, you ever remember that scene in Interstellar with Matthew McConaughey and uh, Anne Hathaway when they go down to the planet and then they come back uh, and it's been like 50 years on board the spaceship because they've been in the gravitational pull of the black hole. Um, I know I just threw a lot at you, but that this is space, guys. It's not supposed to make that much sense, like from our limited earthly perspective. But that's how aging works in space, so, you know, get used to it. Why have we got starvation going on here? Malnutrition trivial. Oh, wait, because they haven't even gotten a single harvest. We've got 103%. Ah, oh, we're like really, really close to that harvest. I didn't think we would have to keep doing this. Jeez. Okay, well, we have a fox or foxo here. <laughs> Who is cooking? Who is cooking? Somebody is I not like cooking. Turtles. No, don't feed a man to him. Come on, there's plenty of raw food around here. No, do some butchering. There you go. Come on, da baby. It's maybe it's just because we have so many kalas to feed. Oh, Vander, thank you for the three months. Amanda is pregnant. I guess we could slaughter one of the baby cows. Or we could slaughter one of the bulls. And we do have another one. This is going to start to be a lot of them to take care of. Okay, uh, Cristobal. You're going... You're going down, bud. I wonder what sound the cow makes when it... When it dies. I mean, we do need meat. Good, he's drinking the cow's milk. I mean, but the bull doesn't really produce milk, so unfortunately, this is just the way it is. Slaughter Cristobal. Take him out! Good. All right, uh, cows, we got, looks like meat's back on the menu tonight, boys. Right, in the words of Grishnak, or whoever it was. Oh, look at all that meat! Okay, Val, uh, wait, who is the cook? No. Who was our cook? It was, oh no, it was Brava. Brava was a good cook. Cook, Brava, please. Everyone is hungry. Don't let the baby, where is the baby? The baby's about to grow up. Come on, get this baby grown up in the 14 days, so we got only one more day until the baby wakes up. I mean, becomes not the baby anymore. There we go. All right, good. We got all the rocks out of that place. Oh, thank God. This room was horribly ugly before. It's actually looking not as awful as it did before, although it still looks quite awful, apparently. That's okay. That's okay. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Good, good. Get those meals up. Get those meals flying around and into people's mouths. Good. Feeding the masses. Feeding the masses. I think we're going to pull through to the first harvest. They're ready to harvest, everyone. Oh, yes. Okay, but get these children working, though, because the children will just sit there and do nothing if we don't tell them to work. So this is actually beginning to dawn on me. Like, the children... The not baby. He, he is the not baby. The children must work. The children must work for more of the day. Let's give them like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hour work days for the children. Because the children just sit there and they grow up and they're fine. They don't need all of this childish activity. I, I am a little frustrated with this. Like having the, you can't manage people, you know? You can't manage people. I think they should still be able to enjoy their lives. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying don't have a good time. In fact, 12-hour workdays, because, like, just only in the morning and at night. Cambiar became a child, and I was filled with glee. There we go. Cambiar's first act as a child was to bring iron into the iron room and eat it. Oh, my God, he's having, like, a happy meal. It's bigger than him. That's so cute. 
boost room impressiveness on wealth cost with flowers. I'm not. A, I don't really love flowers just because they feel like maintenance. But yeah, probably right. It's just like, why are they just watching work be performed? Do they get anything out of that? Oh, they're getting some. It appears that they're getting some learning. At, no, not even. Not even getting anything out of it. Oh, they're doing floor drawing now, though. Okay, so that boosts learning. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I'm inclined to just say, work all the time, kids. I'll give them one hour so that they don't have so many mood breaks at the beginning of the end of the day, like, in case if there's anything that they need to do. But otherwise, like, work. Work, everyone. No, no, they're gonna, they no, absolutely they won't unionize. Stop being so facetious. No, I'm serious. These children need to get, get jobs, get jobs. Someone was just fed a human, so I don't, <laughs> I don't stand by that right now. I just want to say, uh, all the human corpses belong. Well, actually, let's bring this farther out here because these also put off like rot now or something. And yeah, that's not safe for them to be around. And we'll make that area pretty not big because I don't want somebody spending a lot of time around that area. I think that was a good addition to the game though. I think that was a good addition. It's gonna make it slightly more challenging, yes. But can we get this out of here? There we go. Ah, haven't had that happen in a while. Man, embarrassing. Embarrassing, finally we got to the first harvest, that's good. And all we had to do was kill one innocent cow. Oh, I think in the meantime, we can go ahead and remove these A's. A was for animal. In case if you forgot. Um, hmm. Fridge. Just, they just haven't really gotten around to mining this. That's okay. That's okay. May as well build the wood all the way out here, too. Um, not there. Major break risk, it's okay. Just go on your break. I want you to be happy. But what is really bothering you though? Learning deprived, okay, so learning deprivation is actually going to upset them. So they need not only recreation, but also learning as children. Uh, actually, I take that back. They don't need recreation, they just need learning. Okay, that's making a little bit more sense. Okay, then. In that case, I will give them a little bit more time. In the morning and the evening. All right. But that's it. That's final. That's final. I think the other ones don't need to learn so much. Biko, you don't need to learn, do you? Yeah, he just needs recreation. He just needs recess. That's it. Yeah, no fl no flowers. We sweep we sleep with the dead people. And we have dirt on our floors. Please someone clean this. Clean the dirt, please and get all of those drawings off of the ground. Clean the floor drawings. Everyone just clean the house for a minute. Can we all just do some cleaning? Uh and this is the reason why now I I've gotten very upset with everyone. This is the reason why I I do manual priorities like this, isn't just in case if, um, hang on a second. I believe I had put the children onto this. One, everybody's going to clean for like the next five minutes. This is the most satisfying thing you can do in RimWorld is just set one priority. And look, the entire colony is cleaned in like three seconds. Oh, it's amazing. It just feels so good. Look, they get, the whole place is, ah, oh, it's pristine. That's nice, and that's why I, I keep that priority like that. Um, but for these people, no, just for the kids. They're the ones who clean. All right, that's fine. Okay, so our house looks not so bad anymore, right? Slightly impressive. Hey, that should keep us going for a much longer time than I expected we would. I started to get a little bit worried there with all the mood breaks. Kids hate school because it's boring. They love learning and what they're interested in. I think that's true. Honestly, I, I believe that's true. You know, and like also to think about like as you get further along in your uh, in your education, 
probably like when you were when you were in school it was a lot of busy work you know it wasn't really like specific to you but maybe if you uh i don't know if you ever took any like college courses or like later on in high school you kind of get to direct your own learning a little bit more with projects hopefully but you know it also depends on where you go but like hopefully hopefully add somebody there to guide you guide you along in your in your education for what it's worth for what it's for whatever it's worth all right i don't think that construction is quite so urgent now all the people who are bad at it you don't have to do it all the time anymore okay <laughs> i think it's funny that i forgot to give grasshopper back his weapon and he's just been carrying a log around for the last like 40 minutes <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like his mayonnaise and instrument kind of moment you know all right these are better need colonist beds because i just deleted them i just want to get that done after 90 degrees fahrenheit okay it is getting rather hot in here um it's like that song it's getting rather hot in here here we go i guess we'll just use passive coolers for now I, though I, now it is Decembery. I don't know why it's why the hell is it this hot in Decembery? We're at like the South Pole here. How is this happening? Hey Beef, thank you very much for the sub. Now we gotta get the tailor going. Yeah, we should probably get some clothing as well. Hmm, art bench, wooden butcher table. I mean, the environment is pretty, like, clear and clean. We could always just put a campfire in the middle of the floor if they run into that, but at least we managed to get another harvest going, so that... For that, I am thankful. For that, I am thankful. I should probably also get this indoors. <laughs> um, in fact, let's just put this in here for a moment, because this is very much not a good place to have this. Then we could just keep that area clean. Go, Frenzy on Scorpion! Oh, fantastic! Maybe he'll be ready to fight Sub-Zero soon. Or maybe he'll keep the temperatures above zero wherever he is around him, because we are very much at risk of that. I would also be fine with that as, as an alternative. We also... <laughs> no one is happy in this gallery. Okay, as soon as we get stone cutting, I swear... I'm gonna keep working on the rest. Let's get a, a, even another research table going, because this has taken them a long time. And also, we don't actually need any more of this. They did a great job on this room, though, I think. I mean, this room is, is looking fantastic. Is it... Did we get it up to very impressive? No, only slightly impressive. That's fine. I mean, even with some dirt on the floor, if it's very impressive, or if it's slightly impressive, even. Like, that's a statement. That's a statement. I've had some palaces that haven't even had that. Disgusting. We do need one more, though. Or we just build a, another wall. That's fine. Cool. All right. Colony's looking good. I mean, eventually this is going to be the stockpile room, and we'll move all this to be the rec room, but it is what it is, right? Southern Hemisphere. I mean, do I need to show where how far we are on the map again? Look, we're all the way down here. We're, like, practically in the Arctic. Maybe not quite that far down, but yeah. Like, it should be colder right now. Okay, here it comes down, 69 degrees. And you know it's all downhill from there. There we go. Or maybe it's just like a hot planet. Like, it got too close to the sun. It's like Icarus. Clean the trash. Come on, grasshopper. Go, baby, go! Think, think, think! He's at 314, 315 out of 450. Okay, this guy is plowing along now at getting smarter. Look, he's getting so smart. You can practically see the wrinkles, uh, like, folding into his brain. Hey, Wampa Stampa, thank you very much for the 15 months. There we go now. I think I might also get an art bench, too. Is anyone good at that? I mean, we've got all of this wood lying around. We might as well give them some wooden sculptures. Let's just get one of those. Make this into, like, our future workshop. Eventually, we will get our workshop here, so this will be very... We can take them from there and bring them in here. You know, like we're the Gringe. 
I mean the Grinch, sorry. I mixed up cringe and Grinch. Very easy mistake to make, a reasonable one. Better men than me have made it before. All right, uh, I guess large sculpture, because it doesn't take up a lot of room. It doesn't take tons of time. And let's make, like, three. Now, is anyone good at this? I mean, the children are able to do it. We don't really want, like, a bad artist to get to work on it. Here you go. He wouldn't like that. Where is your art project, Braba? It was due today. We need that sculpture in here now. I think they have nice tribe names, don't you? Orange, Cambiar, Hakuja, Scorpion, Benastra, Darklight, Fico, Braba, Grasshopper, and Val. The only one with a normal name is Val. Like Valerie, I suppose. It's still 82 degrees Fahrenheit in the middle of December. That's pretty hot. That's pretty hot, man. For people in Celsius, what, that's like, what, upper 20s? Something like that? I don't remember the exact formula. For a lot of it, what is it, like divide by three, more or less? I think so. Anyway, um, I guess we can start storing the rice in the area that will be the kitchen. Like, we might as well just put it in there and then put a wall around it. Um, hmm. Maybe like that. Yeah, like there. There we go. And we could just do a normie door in there. A normie, normie door. Actually, I think I can make a little bit more efficient with the space if I do this. Because eventually I'm going to put it in an airlock. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, and then this is going to be storage for clear all. This is going to be preferred for only... Only the food will go in here. Only the foods. There we go. All right, so now they have a second stockpile zone. They can start to free this up, and then we'll put things in the right place sooner or later. And it looks like they're just about done with the stone cutting there, too. The Stone Crusher Clan. That would have been, a, like, a nice, like, primitive name for our tribe. I don't know why I didn't pick that. You guys ever play Goblin Commander for uh, consoles? I picked up a copy of this because I really wanted to do something with it. It's such a great game. But that was your original clan in it. The Stone Crusher Clan. The Stone Crusher Clan. Like that. Like that. And then, has also, has everybody got a weapon now? Because everyone is now capable of fighting. So I want to make sure that, uh, at a moment's notice, if we get dropped in on by mechanoids or something like that, we get something going. Now, Biko is incapable of violence. I think it's just uh, the babies that need the weapons. I mean, they're not the babies anymore, so. All right, are they any good at anything at all? Hey, One-Eyed Jack, thanks very much for the very nice comment. Hope you uh, hope the hope you keep enjoying whatever it is you found from the videos. Hmm. I guess we'll do a crafting spot for now. Yeah, we'll just make some clubs, primitive clubs. Here we are. Okay, other things that we can start to separate out too, and I just kind of want to say this, is uh, steel doesn't rot, so we can definitely put that outside. Um, I think... We'll be using that for a lot of crafting, so we don't want it to be too far off from here, so let's just go ahead and create another stockpile zone. I had a friend who was really good with these stockpile zones, just, you know, trying to free up as many indoor spaces as you can early on in the colony, so let's make, like, just a little area where we'll put preferred for clear all and we'll just put steel in here because it's it's not going to go bad we might as well put it outside and free up this like perishable indoor space um, and then shortly thereafter we should be able to start getting oh and we also want this to be i forgot to do this we never want them to make these out of steel just wood i mean stone wouldn't be bad either but we simply don't have any stone right now and it's just bigger priorities Okay, now it's starting to look more like December-y temperatures. Uh, 54 degrees Fahrenheit, so I think I'm going to turn off the automatic refuel here. The torch should give them a little bit of warmth. Camp and call, hey, thanks very much for the seven months. Goblin Commander, yeah, what a game, right? It was the best. 
Ah, uh, kind of nice to hear that you guys played that too, Cloud Nine and Brother Jays. Yeah. Ah, stone cutting. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, now we. C I forgot to say that we could just totally make tribal wear. Complex clothing. What is the most urgent thing next? I think I'm just gonna make them some tribal wear at the crafting station next. I should have done that before, but alas, I forgot. Okay, let's do some complex furniture because I want people to have actual beds. Their comfort is pretty low right now. All right, and in the meantime, let's go add Bill. We're going to make tribal wear. We'll just make... Um, make until we have... And oh, I'm so thankful to not be on console right now. Console, they hadn't fully worked this bit out. Um, I like the console version otherwise, but it was missing this one bit the last time I played. Count equipped. Okay, we're going to do that. And we should have 10... And they should all be, let's say at like 80. As long as we have 80 that are equipped, because we want people's gear to be in pretty good condition. Any quality, it should also be like at least normal quality. 60 of the fabric count tainted, um, currently have two out of 10. Pause when satisfied, yes. Wait, I don't see, doesn't it already pause when satisfied? Um, only a lot. I don't actually remember what this means. Uh, take to best stockpile is pretty fine because this is, doesn't take them that long to do. Or, I mean, there aren't that many of them to make. Any worker allowed crafting skill 0 to 20 is fine. Ingredient radius, uh, I suppose I am okay with unlimited. Let's say the thing. And then let's also just make two clubs. Uh, do that right away, actually. And not just make them out of wood. Please, oh god, just please make them out of wood, not all of that other stuff. <laughs> okay, there we go. Good, crafting is happening because we did have some animal pelts and we had some, whatever it was, light leather. Get these people clothed up. And now the tribal wear should Love just be one layer on they could Twitch have on. See you streaming. Hey, Dust Bowl, thanks very much for coming out. And thank you for the prime. Hope you're enjoying more of whatever you came for. Love the orphans. Orphed. They say it's orphan time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, double research all the way across the room. Look, the children are cleaning and doing all of the menial labor like we intended. And the adults are in the room doing important art projects and research projects. And they say to the kids, get out of here, boy. I'm working on my project. That's nice. That's really nice. Okay, let's go ahead and get some stone cutting going. Because we haven't had any. <laughs> we're going to put this near here, and then we're going to divide this out. Because, I mean, look, I could get... Ideally, I would have shelves to keep these things on, and they made shelves so much more viable in vanilla. I really like what they did with the shelves. Hang on a second. Do we have any... No, we just have wood and steel. Okay, I do want to separate this out to begin with, though. Because whoever's standing here will go crazy because of all the stuff next to them. Like, I can't work like this with all of these stone chunks right here. It's driving me insane. They're so rocky. They'll go mad. Uh, uh, one thing I'm forgetting, though, actually, too, is now that I'm starting to make all this tribal wear, don't I need, like, child-sized tribal wear? Is that a detail that I can... Wearable by adult. Yes. This... Is there an option somewhere I'm not seeing? Add bill, make tribal wear, maybe. Information. View tribal wear. I wonder if it's anywhere else. Yeah, I missed it in the research. Oh, did I miss it in the research tree? Ah, thank you for that. Thank you for that. Hmm. A moment, a moment. Yes, the shelf buff was quite good. Okay, let's let's check in the research. Complex clothing. Is it under... Ah, it's under complex clothing then. Okay, that is fine. That is fine. So it's under complex clothing. What, they can't just make like a smaller one? For the babies. Okay, this is how I do my stone cutting now. I just don't even do that. I just limit the radius to here. That's what I say to them. Okay, cool. So they will be cutting stone forever. It sounds like a like some sort of Sisyphean doom I've doomed them to. 
Like, I've cursed them to making stone blocks to make it forever. I, I was never really, that never sat right with me the way they do it. Look, you child, you're only seven and you're hewing chunks of stone. That's pretty metal. <laughs> that, it is pretty metal. I, I gotta say though, I've learned a lot during the stream and I like it when I'm learning and yet I can still like um, feel somewhat coherent in the narrative of the game because I frequently feel as though when we do these streams, like I, whenever I'm learning a lot, I'm really not, like it's very hard to follow. But I, I think that this stream has been pretty easy to follow from the start. So I am thankful for that because the other day is just, you know, uh, the, the poop hit the fan, as they say. Let's see. Okay, this is going to be for blocks. All kinds of blocks, but this is going to be low priority, and we'll do that. And I'm just going to tell them to drop, uh, what is it, drop on the floor. Or take to, what is the stockpile zone? Stockpile zone four, so I'm just going to do that. Mm, take to stockpile zone four. Okay. But what if stockpile zone four overloads? Although I find that extremely rare, this is basically the equivalent of your cooking workflow here, except just with stones. Um, actually, we don't need this task getting done right now. What I would kind of prefer is that they get that kitchen done. In the meantime, let's also build another copy of this in here. I know it's going to make the room just a little bit warmer, but eh, it's fine. Um, okay, other stuff. Cancel these. Yeah, just mine out this area here because I kind of want that kitchen done. And then we'll expand this zone because this is just food storage. All right, our colony is not looking so god-awful anymore. I mean, it really does still, but there's like a method to the madness. And I always struggle at that part of the game because I feel like it's either just total chaos or everything's super ordered. But I think we transitioned pretty well there. I think it's mostly just like me planning it out before I start streaming. I don't know what it's like. Having that drawing there for myself from the beginning. I could never like color inside the lines, I suppose that is to say. Like figuratively, you know, I could perfectly well color inside of lines, but yeah, like I don't have a natural sense of aesthetic organization. It just takes me a long time. Some people do, and I really envy it. Like, some people's notebooks looked very organized when I would go to school with them. Mine didn't. Mine looked awful. Like, the content was there, but it really didn't look good. And there is... <laughs> that is, like, a flaw. So. But I can do it. I can do it if I, if I must. It just takes me some time. That is to say, I have bad presentation skills. <laughs> do you struggle with this? Man, one rock to the left and it can access the backspace to increase the rock storage. Wait, what was that sound? Animal starvation? Wait, haven't they been feeding the... Oh, no, not the cows. Hang on a second. I will just... Let's create, like, one... One square of rice. That's just critical rice. Clear all, but only rice. Just bring the rice there, dang it. No, you keep cooking even if a cow dies i'm not gonna have a heart attack you know tantrum on dark light hiding room banastra okay now i'm not too happy with this oh you uh, went crazy when you were hauling back the rice what were the odds of that hang on a second orange you're my only hope haul that rice bring the rice to the cows everyone knows that cows love rice rice and beans there we go. That's why they fart, because of the beans, right? There we go. The cows are like, oh my god, feed me. <laughs> nah, they're not. They're just cows. <laughs> of course they're not. <clears throat> Excuse me. Please stop destroying everything. That's the masterwork table. Why would you do that? We all like that. Everyone likes you worse now. Oh, you didn't destroy anything, and you're repairing it all after that. What a good egg you are. We'll never do cleaning. Benastra is upset. What a good way to have a mood break, though. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now it's starting to look like we're ready for the next stuff. Hey, Twitch. Uh, hey, uh, Order. Thanks very much for coming out. Hey, Twitch. Hey, Twitch. 
I don't think I've heard that one before. People saying, hey, Twitch. Hey, chat. You know, like that. I don't really like saying, hey, chat. I try to avoid saying that because I... I mean, you're no one here is chat. You're... You're whatever your name is. Maybe your name is, like, Paul or Amanda or something like that. You're not chat. Always kind of bothered me. Hey, chat. <laughs> uh, uh, banned. <laughs> banned. Triple G, thank you very much for the 300 bits. That was... I, I, I haven't laughed out loud to a TTS in a long time. Thank you very much. What if your name is chat? Well, then... Let's have a meeting. Let's have a meeting. Hey, Vegas, thank you very much for the prime. Anyway, look at how fine our house is going to be with these walls. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to start declaring my war against dirt. It's one of the earliest things I like to do just because I hate it when my colonists fly off the rails. And if I can prevent them from having mood breaks by keeping the place clean, I take some pride in that. I know this is starting to sound like a Patrick Bateman speech. <laughs> like. I take pride in the way I look, or what is it? I care about the way I look. <laughs> or what is the line in that movie? That's such a funny line. The one where he's like going, he's putting moisturizer on his face, but it's like a mask and then he peels off his face. <laughs> oh my God. What, what a movie, what a movie. I believe in taking care of myself. That's it, that's it. Uh. Yeah, the American Psycho. What a movie. I believe in taking care of my colony. My name is ambiguous. Actually, my, my name is Rob. I don't really say my first name very often. My first name is Rob. Most people don't know my first name. But I wasn't like, hey, everybody, it's Rob, a.k.a. Ambiguous Amphibian. So I usually just go by AA. But then that also had that productive homo homophone or homonym or whatever you would call it. So that became somewhat difficult because then that led to more confusion. So here I am, nameless and confusing everyone. And that's exactly the way it's been for many years. And I, <laughs> I have somehow taken a great comfort in this. I enjoy confusing you. I hope you are confused. Uh, Anyway, um, that is to say, that is to say, thank you. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. Major break risk, major break risk. And now you aren't going to break. You're going to get fixed. If you break, we're going to fix you. We're going to fix you right up. Uh, just keep cleaning the room, everyone. Come on. We're cooking in here, people. We're cooking in here. This is why I like to focus on this first, is because I find that food poisoning is one of the most debilitating and easily avoidable things for an early colony. Like, if you can just meticulously manage it, you'll prevent everyone from being slow all of the time. So that's why I try to keep things clean, I guess. That's why I think that's, like, the next big priority after you have, you know, the basic stuff out of the way. The basic stuff out of the way, of course. Do that, and then let's handle this. And then can we just put this in here? Yeah, let's just stop being a baby. Stop being a baby and make a kitchen. Yeah, that's good. And then somebody clean that too. Cambiar, clean that. Who put in the legendary name of Cambiar? Probably the most famous Rimworld colony name from Pete. What if Pete made a second channel called, like, Pete Finished, not Pete Complete anymore? It wouldn't Mostly rhyme. I was it would be, have to be, like, colony would go. Dennis Finished. Or what rhymes with Finished? That's a name. Inished. M um, so somebody give me a name. Pete Accomplished. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just always, like... I get excited whenever I see that he's posted a new video. You know? Fini Phineas finished. Phineas finished. Finian finished. That would be a, an ideal name. Someone pass that along to Pete if he's listening. 
I'd really like to, I'd watch the, all of the content on that channel. Get recommended all the videos, click on them right away. First thing in the morning, like you know when you accidentally take your phone out I right away? I believe in taking care of myself and a balanced diet and a rigorous that's exercise routine. In the morning, yep, that's the Patrick Bateman. Coffee, that's it. I'll put on an ice pack <laughs> while doing my stomach crunches. I can do I a can thousand, do a thousand now. now. After I remove the oh ice pack, oh my god, I and I think that's based crunches. on the book. It's like, um, what is it? That's then basically. Facial mask, which I leave on for Isn't that like the Alex Burgess? The rest of my routine. Clockwork Orange. I always use an aftershave lotion with little or no alcohol. Triple G, thank you very much for the 600 your bits. Also, makes you look older. Then moisturizer. <laughs> then an anti-aging eye bomb. Followed. <laughs> it's so funny to hear the TTS bot say it as well, <laughs> because it sounds like a bad reading of it. <laughs> thank you for that. <laughs> oh my God. Major Gaming, thank you very much for the sub. This is almost as good as like the dramatic reading of Fifty Shades of Grey. Or somebody did it in the voice of Cookie Monster. It's still up on YouTube, I believe. Like someone read a passage. <laughs> I mean, I can't do that type of content because I, because I need to be reputable. But <laughs> uh, One of those like old rabbit hole YouTube videos you would go down. Just very funny stuff. Not that it had anything to do with rabbits. Mm, okay, now we need light in this room. Actually, put that a little bit closer. I find it ironic that dark light is working in dark light. <laughs> don't, don't you think that's funny? Uh, that's like somehow spiritually fitting. Hmm. Good. I just got so much satisfaction and serotonin release out of that. Yes. Neurochemical transmitters of pleasure. There we go. Let's let's call it a mine for a few minutes over here. Alright, so we've got steel. Um we've got a kitchen. Our area is clean. Our children are grown. I'm trying to decide. What do we let's try to find an answer to this. We're about Two hours into the stream now. I think that these children are actually pretty viable as colonists. Like, I had my concerns that it would be 18 years, you know, um, in the words of Kanye, to uh, to raise them into valuable citizens. But, well, what is Cambiar doing? This is a little bit odd. This is like a kind of a the shining sort of thing for him to be doing. Don't do that, Cambiar. That's weird. I think we can get a dedicated cleaner, though, on one of the kids. Um... I suppose that we don't really want children taking care of other... Ch oh, no, the child could take care of a baby. Hmm. I guess that it would be, like, in tune with the baby's needs, to be fair. Let's go ahead and make some of them dedicated cleaners. That way, the, the youngest of them will clean the house first and make everyone else happy so that they can then take care of the children. It's kind of like a trickle-down effect, but with like communal love um like what an absolutely politically universal statement to have just made i should write a book guys oh my god it would just bring everyone together there would be no more political parties like or the election would be a party you know like i mean we would get a lot of pleasure out of it We've got stony soil. Oh, this was an amateur mistake, AA. Why did I do this? Why am I speaking about myself in the third person here? Because I wish to divorce myself from my actions. Although they are inexcusable. Do you see what stupidity this was? I left dirt in the door. How could I have done this? How could this happen? Ninth of December. We're coming along here. But to be fair, I mean, like, yeah, look at me. Friggin' guy. Um, we do need light in that kitchen as well. Have we been researching? Complex- Oh, wait, we got complex furniture, and I completely forgot about it. Wow. Uh, how stupid of me. Complex clothing so that we could get everybody some clothes. Look at the cleaning! Oh my gosh, little people are going around and picking the things up. That's actually useful because the children are closer to the ground and they can see it better. 
I know I did this, but I'm just going to instantly undo it. It, it seems like a bit much. I, that was a bit ambitious of me, wasn't it? I mean, in truth, really what we need is research to happen. But uh, let's get everyone some real beds now, shall we? Um, I, eventually I'm going to move these around, so I'm going to use a couple of devil beds. Just thinking, do I really want it like this? I, we really need quality builder in vanilla. One, two, three, four. It's like the Brady Bunch. This is the story <laughs> about a family. <laughs> there they go. <laughs> That's how they're going to sleep. Uh, I doubt we'll get any more colonists in the colony. Oh, great job. Excellent. Poor. Okay, I'm just going to deconstruct that one and build another one. Like I said, I'm not using any... Um, Or I didn't say this, rather. I'm not using any mods. I'm just using biotech and vanilla because I... Oh, awful. Um, I like to get to know the mod better. And I know we aren't really exploring it deeply, but I, I don't want to mix anything up with a mod. And I, I know that'll happen if I start using stuff just for convenience. Because I'm still fresh to 1.4 as well. Okay, we got good, we got poor. Let's deconstruct that. Good, good, poor. Okay, so deconstruct that one. And then we'll build two more. They, they don't really mind. There's no feng shui in RimWorld, you know? Like, they just want it in the room and near them. Most of the bot mods are broken, too. I love the new mod manager that they added into vanilla, though. That was fantastic. What a great idea. Ah, that was the one feature request I would have had. To not have to use a mod to manage my mods. But it, it makes the game so much better. So much better. I still got poor on that one. Should we just make like 20 beds until one of them gets made? Okay, nope, nobody's sleeping in there tonight. Uh, somebody work on this, please. You. Whoever's closest. But how do I explore how expansions interact with each other? Mm, I usually, honestly, don't really use royalty and ideology. Ideology could have been interesting if you wanted to make some sort of robot people. But I was like... I don't really want to make robot people yet. Like, you know. Oh, Rim Pie was also quite good. That's fair. But it, that was kind of like a power user mod. Oh, now they got awful. Jeez Louise. Okay, just keep making... Let's make like three or four more beds because we're going to need them for prisoners anyway. Just these people are bad at making beds. Now, is everyone sleeping in a heap together? Dark Light is a weird guy. Just let him stay out there. Okay, everybody's got some kind of, like, sleepies mattress now. <laughs> yep, they don't have to make their beds. They don't have to make their beds. Uh, but the ones that I should assign to people are Grasshopper should get this one. And, oh, wow, this actually is declared art now. Um, set owner... Only because, just in case, you know, if they meet someone. And Val reassign. Okay, there we go. Yep, that's ideal. Good. Good. Now our colonists are pretty much automated. The Brady Bunch. Uh, oh, it's fine. It's a rainstorm. I do like the uh, the new fire putting out stuff that they add in. There were so many like annoying manual task priorities that you had to go through, well, manually, um, that they kind of fixed it, like the auto cut blight thing. And now they're all in vanilla, so there's not as much clicking, uh, which which I think was a great move by Ludion. I, I think that this this expansion seems to be a ten out of ten, and I think it's because. The system that they... They just did a good job on the pregnancy. There's other systems, too, that I am like pretty much have yet to explore, like the gene thing, but... Ah, Psychic Soothe on females. Ah. Ah. Awful. Delete that one. We could even get rid of the normal ones now. Oh, we'll keep them around for prisoners. We don't want prisoners to have bad beds, either. A bad bed. <laughs> Get it? A bad bed. Oh my god, that always... That always works. Always works. 
Okay, now this is sustainable. Very impressive. They didn't even need flowers. Your pathetic flowers. Not too familiar with the Brady Bunch for the kids of different ages. They would hear their other siblings being... I'm pretty sure that the parents didn't have any more kids in the Brady Bunch, right? How did they become the, the Brady Bunch? Did they ever really go over that? Shoot Frenzy on Grasshopper. Yeah, that's fine. He just mostly does research now. All right, so we've got everybody. Let's kind of take a tally of our progress, see where we are in our on our goals. We wanted to make a barracks. I think we did a really good job at that. This is a very multifunctional room that's working well for them right now. We're going to reinstall this over here because we now have a workshop. Uh, do we have... Good, we're getting plenty of marble now. I'm going to start putting down... Should I really do this marble tile? Uh, what the heck? You know what? Make it nice. Yeah, I mean, they do spend a lot of time in the workshop. I might as well make it a beautiful place. Um, let's put all this down here, and then we'll do that. It's going to take a while, but, you know, uh, the they got to grind their construction skills anyway. Flowers, ambi joy, oh joy. <laughs> the ambiguous amphibian family? Oh, family. Like, for your family. I thought you meant my family. My family is... My family is, you're my family. You are my family. Actually, it's been a minute. It's been a minute since I saw my family. When did I last see my family? September. September, when I went over to uh, PDXCon. Stopped and saw some family. Uh, I'm, I'm getting like flashbacks here. A Revan kissed. Thank you very much for the four months. Reminiscing on the past now. Here I go. It's only because Thanksgiving is coming up. Maybe it's the turkeys that I'm getting, like, you know, like flashbacks. F turkey f related flashbacks. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, so anyway, where was I? Um, planning out the base. I think we did a pretty good job planning out the entire base. Uh, the only thing I'm really missing here is bedrooms, which I can figure out once I've got all of this stuff done. I just wanted to get that workshop done. I, I guess that'll be like a part two deal. Um, we figured out that children... I think the main thing that I wanted to figure out was like, are children viable? And uh, now I can go through with the rest of this colony. Maybe make even one... Uh, make one of them into the mechanitor when we can encounter this thing when we have enough technology. I don't know if that day will ever come, but maybe we'll be raided by a bunch of wolf people or furries or something from this corner of the map. And then they'll clash with the technology because they're Luddites and they reject it. Possible. It could happen. Um, I'm just speculating about what might be. We have a barracks. We have fields that are very well taken care of. The cows are taken care of. Um, the heat, we were worried about, but honestly, the heat... Like, for some reason, it just never got cold in this part of the world. I don't really know what's going on there. We're very close to the South Pole. But, oh, you know what? I just realized something really stupid. Guys, I live in the Northern Hemisphere. Do you know what mistake I just made? December is actually the summer for the South. This is like December in Australia. I am stupid. Okay, so we've been in the middle of the summer. Well, thank God for that, because I wasn't ready for the winter. But it's kind of funny how when you start... It makes me realize that I think I rarely play Southern Hemisphere RimWorld games. You see what I just did? We had, like, an Australian summer here. Outrageous fun. Ah, oh, so much fun. You remember that video, the outrageous fun? <laughs> That's the only thing I can say in an Australian accent. Ah. Uh. I can't do it on command. There, I I didn't I couldn't do it there. Not like my really good British accent. Um. Anyway, stockpile and resources. We did that. We haven't really separated things things thangs, thangs out. Bedrooms are very labor intensive though, so I intend on waiting on that for a while until we're really ready. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I can't I can't get that accent. I can't do it. it. It always sounds very well It sounds like the Gringe when I start to say it Why are all these other animals coming in? What is on that cow? Oh, it's bandages. 
I am ready. I am preparing to remove the bandages from the baby cow. All right, another thing that we need to do, though, here is... Um, eventually, this is going to be our stockpile room. Let's keep this open. Um, I'm just looking at other things that are occurring to me. Let's start to get a double air lock on the meals. If we're in December, it's going to get colder. Uh, eventually, whoops, what is this? A rare thrombos? Two of them. Ooh. Stay away. Stay very far away. Build them out. Build a wall to defend us from them. Another thing I'm probably going to start to do is just let's start to take down the trees nearby our base because I never like to give raiders cover when they come in. Um, or like thick cover like this. This is not good. Like, we don't want raiders coming in in this area. And we'll also start to just mine out these little nodes. Um, we want to be able to spot raiders before they come in, so I'm thinking that this is going to be a sheer wall here. I don't want to give them a chance to hide behind anything. Um, where else? That's pretty good. They could come from over here, so let's start to kind of hollow out this section. Just so they don't have too much stuff to hide behind. Yeah, and not make it so, so much labor. I think that's good. And then I think we're going to extend this wall. We'll keep it nice inside of our base, but do we have any other type of stone here now? We do have some... Gra oh, granite! We have granite on this map? I actually was not even looking into that. I thought it was mostly just sandstone. Oh, no, that was only from that one area. Granite. Granite. We do have granite over here. Do we have mostly granite chunks? Where is the granite? Oh, we do have a good amount of granite. Huh. Wow, I unintended... Wait, is this... Is the terrain here marble, sandstone, and granite? I do believe, according to Pete Complete, that that is actually, like, the ideal breakup of stuff in the colony. Huh. Wow, we lucked out. We got, like, the perfect stone combination. Nice. Okay, that's going to be our other wall area. And then let's do doors there. Just so that people can't, like, waltz right into our colony right now. And we'll do more there. I like to keep doors all over just to kind of separate things out. Like, eventually when we do get drop potted in on, we're going to be in some trouble. So, be careful. We're being raided by new people. Chio and son of the virus blighters. Again, this is, like, more of the DLC content that we just haven't really engaged with. Because I don't want to make people who just spit toxic at each other. I want to have a clan of children, like, all vying for themselves and running away from their tribe. Kind of like Neverland, I suppose. We have all of these little kids, Orange and Cambiar, who just turned three. Then these kids- Now they're eight! Look, they've already aged another year. Hakuja and Scorpion. Scorpion is a fierce fighter. He murdered a man in cold blood. And he was only seven. He still is seven, so it was this year. Um have a celebration on the anniversary that he saved our tribe, I guess. But yeah, he did defend us from some bad people. Okay, we're gonna send Orange and Cambiar to get some clubs now, or a knife. I don't really know if I trust a three-year-old with a knife. Yeah, he is three, I can confirm that. Um, but uh, this is troublesome. Um, hmm. Okay, so they're just content to hang out over there for a little while. Do we have the uh, security measures? We do have spike traps now. I suppose it would be prudent to put one of these at our gate then. Let's um, let's put those over there. Yeah, that way we could deploy them at a moment's notice. Always good to have some of these things lying around. Yeah, we've got orange and cambiar. Well, cambiar wasn't... Cambiar, I think, though, is the most famous of RimWorld colonists due to Pete. I do like that. It's just a catchy name. I'd like to put a name into the game that, you know, Pete decides to use. That'd be kind of nice. Yeah. Cambiar was just such a good name. It sounded, like, cultured and... And yet it was kind of... It had this, like, Hannibal Lecter, like, uh, je ne sais quoi about it. I don't know what it is. Something about that name. It's just so memorable. It's perfect. Yeah, I, I couldn't put my finger on that. It sounds Italian. Does Hannibal Lecter sounded Italian? I thought it was like Hannibal Lecture. 
I've got some great movie references here. Um, oh, visitors! Let's see if they go around the top. Okay, uh, the assault is beginning. Everyone two arms. I guess we won't get the spike traps built, but it's fine. Um, we could just lead them to the other raiders. Or the other folks. Oh, you know what's happening is that they're going around the other side because I've actually blocked off this doorway. Okay, so then in that case, um... Yeah, we'll go out around after them. Okay, now the show weapons on the bottom thing is really helping. I, I think they needed that. That was fantastic. Um, is this Lamplight from fall? Oh, wait a second. Was Lamplight the place where it was all run by children? I didn't play that part. I was thinking of the part with the clown. What was that part? That was a very memorable part from Fallout 3. I missed that reference when people were telling me to name the colony after that before. I apologize for that. How very not cash money of me to not remember that. Uh, let's have the children with the uh, melee weapons in the front. Though ideally like the man in the front because, you know, I haven't seen any of them get hurt in combat. So I am honestly a little bit worried. But some of them are fearsome warriors. I will say that as well. Okay, uh, do your best, everybody. Do your best. Okay, so we have Sun, who is just a gentleman with the Uranium Club, and he got shot down before he got to our fearsome line of young folks. Come on, show him the power of youth. Show him the power of youth. Okay, let's just swarm him. Swarm him! Swarm! Oh, I forgot about the Pila guy. Great. Oh, I think that was a kill by Banastra. Let's go ahead and see the log. It was wounded by his Pilum. What did he die from? Yes, it was the Pilum from Banastra. Banastra, well done. Girl of the year. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, darn it. Um, okay. All right, we're just going to patch that up. <laughs> All right, I don't think I'm going to send them into combat anymore. That was bad. Uh, okay. All right, uh, I just learned how to, uh, what, um, let's all just, uh, oh, that was too bad. That was too bad, wasn't it? <laughs> Ooh, okay, I'm learning, I'm learning about combat in this DLC now. You know what? Uh, to be fair, Scorpion had a big victory there. It's fine. It's Rimworld. Uh, he'll we'll get him another one. Um, oof, oof. Rough day. Rough day on the rim. Rest. <laughs> get some rest. Get a take a load off. All right. Who is our best doctor? And let's get some medicine right now. Uh, do we have any? Me we don't have any medicine, and we don't have any medicine. I just remembered as well, because I wasn't expecting that. I was not. No one was. No one was. All right. Um. Whoever is closest to the medicine, you know, why don't you go yeah, I harvest that? And then was there medicine on the oh, was there medicine on the body? Thank you. Mm, and the gear, maybe on this one. Nope. Oof. Well, uh stabilize him. Who is our best doctor? Not really anyone. Grasshopper is a, is a decent doctor, though. Okay, Orange, lie down next to this large man with a club. And get ready. Already tending to... Oh, whoops. Ah, Whoops-a-daisy. I didn't even see that there was advanced medicine right there. Senior moment. Senior moment. My eyes aren't what they used to be. My eyes aren't what they used to be. It's okay. I had a little bit of streamer blindness there. It's all over. Okay, good. Phew. Stabilized. I guess that's just what can happen, though, because that wasn't really that much of a risky fight. So what even happened in the log? To be fair, this could have happened to any colonist, and also to what was his melee. I probably should have checked that. I got a little bit enthusiastic. This guy was a good fighter. I was thinking it might just be because he's smaller than him. But, um, okay, let's get you out of there. So sorry about that. Oh, he can actually walk again. Wow, that is amazing. I, like, how, what a champ. What a way to recover from that. Basically an Anakin Skywalker moment. <laughs> That's horrible. This, this is such a horrible game. 
you know, though, I mean, like, I've always kind of felt... I used to think the body purist was a decent trait, but looking at what happens to your colonists all throughout the playthrough, transhumanist is not such a bad trait because most of them get scratched up and messed up by the time the playthrough is over. Like, somebody's going to lose part of their... Um, like one of their toes or something like that. And you don't want them to be so upset about it. Yeah. Yeah, because it's nothing, it's nothing to be upset about, you know. What matters is in here. Brava cannot properly talk because of where else. Whoops. Um, it doesn't really matter. We don't have anything of any real value. These people don't really have anything that valuable either. I mean, the components are kind of nice. I'll take the components. Sure. Four. Give me four components that I'll use someday. All right, not bad. We really haven't even been doing any mining of those either. Mm. Transhumans also get to eat nutrient. Is that so that they like don't mind it as much? I thought it was acetics. Oh, whatever it is. There's a lot of traits that I've learned about in this game that are much better than I initially thought they were. Um. Here we go. Everybody's in a pretty good mood, though. I mean, even though that you lost your, you know, you, you lost, you lost a lot back there. Um, mm, I think I'm just going to keep on going ahead with the base because I've always kind of thought that my founding colonists, it was never really worth it to fuss over them because probably by the time that the base was done, they're going to be like, bruised and scarred and beaten and stuff and like but you know what they earned it and i'm attached to them nonetheless by the time that it's all over so i think that's what's made it worth it all the time other stuff though okay we're probably getting closer to complex clothing they just haven't really had time to worry about this and grasshopper is also in bed ambrosia sprout okay um I never knew how to handle an ambrosia sprout until somebody showed me on YouTube. But basically, you just make a zone, and then you oh, don't allow sowing. Like, that's pretty much it. Uh, the only things that they'll... They'll also harvest, I believe, trees when they do that. Yeah, like, see, they're harvesting the trees that are fully grown. So try to make it mostly just over the ambrosia area. So let's actually just shrink this zone a little bit. We don't need it to be quite that large. But yeah, that'll have them harvest the ambrosia by the time it's done. And you don't have to, like, fuss over it. Because ambrosia is, in general, a pretty good thing. I don't believe that it spreads. Ambiguous ambiguous. But don't quote me on that. Steam. I hope life is treating you well. Cheers. Hey, thank you, gore child. The ambiguous amphibian is actually my cousin, but um, a, a productive mistake. A productive... Hey, thank you very much for the $10. I do appreciate it, gore child. Hope you enjoy whatever more of it is you uh, found the videos for, though. Thanks. You're, you're a, you're a hell of a guy. Thanks. Hmm. Life is life is treating me pretty well right now. I hope life is treating you well. Thanksgiving's coming. Actually, Halloween is coming up. I usually just skip Halloween though. Although I do enjoy a good scare. Hmm, what is this? Why is there a, an unfinished... I thought that was just a large turd in the middle of the floor. I was mistaken, unfortunately. I like to be accurate in my, you know, observations. Even if those are of things that other people might find grotesque, like a large turd in the middle of the floor. I like to be confirmed that my perceptions of reality are... Our objective. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. I've just been commenting on things for hours, and well, this is where I, this is where we find ourselves sometimes. Mm. Oh my God! Look, there's even more cows to replace their father. I don't think that the inbreeding with cows matters, though. Like I would take inbred cow milk at the door at the store. Do I plan on playing Dwarf Fortress when the Steam version is released? Absolutely. Absolutely, Craft Moon. Crowd Versus, thank you very much for the Prime. Um, hmm, other stuff. I think maybe I'm... 
I'm just going to start to prioritize them like only on research a little bit. Grasshopper and Val. Like Val, we've got these other people that can do crafting. I think it's fine if you don't really do that. Plant cutting. Yeah, the other people can do that stuff too. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I just want you two researching for the most part because that's going to advance the rest of the civilization. And that's what I'm starting to observe is that once they're 13, I think it's 13 I want to say. Yeah, once they're 13, and actually, you have a double passion for it, so I should have you doing it instead, maybe. Does Val have a double passion for it? What do we have? A Daze Benastra? That's fine. Val, do you have a double passion or a single passion? Actually, you know what? Val, you stick to your guns. You keep doing what you do best. Just because double passion is so incredibly overpowered. Like, if you ever looked at the learning rate, even so much better than single passion that... Even though Brava is not that good. Oh, but she's good at cooking. To, wait, no, mining? She's good at so many things. This is going to be so difficult to decide with this woman. Biko could be our cook. Okay, Biko, you're the cook, pretty much. He's got seven, but it'll rise. I'm just going to allow people to take on some food poisoning for a little while. I don't want to micromanage this. Braba, do the research even though you're bad at it. Because you're going to get so much better and so much faster. And Grasshopper, look at how far he's come. You can practically see his gr his brains growing out of his head. Have you ever seen this? Like you're in the taking a test and then there's a guy in front of you. And it's very tempting to look at his answer sheet. Because his brain is emerging from his noggin. I had this experience once. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, I don't know where, where we're going with this. I've been streaming for almost three hours, and I'm just making up new new worlds. But this is why... I think this is the mode I go into when I'm writing a script for a video now, and it is a, it is a joyous flow state to enter into. Okay, we are starting to do simple meals like this. Let's go into fine meals or lavish meals. Just fine meals. And let's just make 12, because that does make them significantly gladder. Gladder. All right, we're coming to the end of summer here. I know where it says december -y, but that we're in the southern hemisphere now. Took me a little, took me a little while to figure that out. Um, okay, now, complex clothing. Do we have the original tailor bench now? Woodcutter's table. Nope. Um, stonecutter's table, keep making forever, good. Good, they're taking down all those trees, preventing raiders from getting cover. My word. I wonder if they get cover from these things. Cover effectiveness, 20%. What is that as compared with a, a real big tree? Cover effectiveness, 25%. Okay, wow, so really, you have to go to town on these stumps if you want to deprive raiders of cover. I wonder if that's going to be a technique now, just like, just burn down a forest instead of something else. Hmm. Very interesting. Uh, in the meantime, I am going to go ahead and start to make some actual shelves, because I, I think we... Oh, and I'll make a toy box as well. Why isn't this rotating? Or maybe it's rotating and I'm just not seeing it. Let's make stuff for the kids, because I don't know how these systems work and I want to find out. Um, we'll do some shelves here and here. So we'll need those. Burnt trees also leave burnt stumps. Yeah, I guess what I'm just trying to say is just get all the trees down fast. Hmm. Though it is sensible. You're right, it is sensible. Smithing, I'm not going to do much with that right now, so it doesn't seem worthwhile. Great bow, cocoa tree... Beer brewing, drug lab. I think electricity is next. It's kind of funny how quickly you get to like more advanced technology. You're just kind of like you're working with sticks and then you get two. Okay. <laughs> Let's just start creating light bulbs. <laughs> Shelveless society is a broken society. I, I have to agree with you. Minor brick risk. Low food, though. Why are we getting low food? 
Another thing I should probably do also too is just start dropping things on the ground. That really the next big technology we're gonna be getting is refrigeration. That's probably the most important next step. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and start mining out the fridge. And it, what I'm intending on here is that this area just be kind of like this. And I'm gonna start to build more walls along here. Let's do this. And then we'll also build wooden, ooh. Kind of nice that I'm getting these two options. I don't know why I'm still getting the wooden door option though. We're gonna build an airlock there, and then we'll do more of these, and then we'll do this, and then we'll do another airlock there, and then we're gonna start to do another airlock there, and there, and there, and there we should build, and we should build another one of these here. And that's basically how our airlock looks. Um, the kitchen and the fridge. Then I want to mine out there and then don't actually mine out here. Whoops, I just resized the game slightly. This happened with my new monitor thing. I apologize about it for that. Keep everything looks good. Okay, yeah, I just I switched everything from like multiple monitors because it was giving me back pain uh, to one big monitor. I made the switch and I actually kind of like it. Working on an OLED monitor, though I'm just paranoid about burn-in, so I keep moving around all the windows. <laughs> and I'm trying to see if I can get like another warranty because I don't like being an early adopter for this type of stuff. There we go. It's it's quite like inky black to look at, though. I, I really am not even crazy. If I could have gotten an LED or an LC, sorry, an LE, eh, LCD monitor that was of this size, I would have. But it, it seemed really good for making it video editing a little bit faster, so I was just like, okay, probably gonna be worth it. Ah, Blah -blah. it's a forty-eight inch screen I'm working on. It's enormous. It's actually a, an LG TV, but uh, I was just like, it's it's made so that it can be used for PC stuff. They also made a monitor, but it had a matte finish, and it was still the same OLED technology. So I was like, well. All right, either way, you're at risk of getting burned. And, and it seems like they're on generation two or three here now, so I'm all right with it. Um, ass and learn. And if, I mean, if I do get burned and I could always just switch it to being used to, as like a TV or something. But yeah, if you have any OLED care tips, it sometimes like auto dims. But I don't know, I, I hadn't actually upgraded my setup like at all since 2019. I did so much like upgrading on my channel before like I was even making a living from it. <laughs> like really not a smart amount of upgrading, but I was just like, uh, like I still am not using this bit of technology that I've always wanted to use. Like needed a camera for stuff and whatnot. Um, so it really wasn't very well advised, but I'm in the position now where I'm just like, okay, it makes sense to get one of these because it makes everything more efficient, so. Not really what I need for playing RimWorld, but all the UI elements kind of make it burn into the screen. Or they say with RTSs, so I'm kind of looking out for that. Especially with stuff I play. So I'm playing in windowed mode right now. Which is a little weird to me. Like, I'm so used to RimWorld being full screen. But, um... Oh wait, how did this wolf get in here? But an interesting sp experience, nonetheless. Mac did that. Samsung G9s. Hmm. Plasma TV that's now 12 years old. Well, I tried running, I tried running a PC on like uh, a 70 inch TV and it was the most terrifying experience ever. The latency was awful as well. Um, hang on a second. I really don't feel safe around this thing at all. So I'm going to just stand. You know what we're going to do? We're going to stand in the doorway as a, as a family and we're going to kill the wolf. Come family. I like to think of them all as a family. Okay, this thing is very sick, isn't it? It got scratched by the rat. You go home because you can't fight. In fact, I'm I'm not taking the children into this anymore because it's just uh, the, um if they're ranged children, that's okay, but not like melee children. This is making me very nervous. Um in light of what just happened. There we go. All right, everyone else go to bed over the wolf. And then you are going to shoot that thing. Why is the horse in the storage? The horse is like, don't mind me. I'm not in here. Oh, wait a minute. No, orange. 
Okay, Orin, let Orange go get a meal for a moment. Okay, now shoot it. Shoot that thing! Oh, everyone shoot that thing. Whoops. Ah, darn it. Moved them wrong. Come, family. Okay, there we go. The melee children. Yes, I'd say uh, it's a C2. It's, a, it's like it's too, it's too nice a monitor. I don't even feel comfortable using it. But, uh, yeah, if you have any of things I'll be happy to take them. if you if you know what you're doing hmm. okay the wolf is gone now goodbye wolf never mind we won't bother you okay how many hours do I have in Rimworld I think it's like 600 something it's really not even that much for what you for how much content I've made on it but I've probably spent as much time reading comments I'm not very good at this game guys Travs, thanks very much for the prime. I didn't mention it before, but thank you. Mm. Thank you, Hassi. I will check that out. I appreciate it. Anyway, I feel like that we've got most things covered now. I guess that the last thing I want to handle here is the fridge. Um, so let's just mine this out. And then pretty much we're going to have all of our workflows together. I mean, nobody's on a mood break or nobody's unhappy from their room. And it only makes them like slightly happier to have a room of their own rather than have a like a really nice barracks where they sleep with everyone in. And nobody's like doing anything that's bothering all of the others as they sleep. So as I see it, this is a pretty decent living situation. And we don't we don't have to change too much from here on in. I think um, we do want to build up a large food stockpile. So what I might end up doing right now, we're at the end of December, so we're going to be coming into, like, the fall. Let's go ahead and maybe when one of these rice crops is a little bit closer to being finished growing, let's maybe make that into corn just so that we can get one really big harvest in. Because uh, I, I think we are going to continue to rely on this. Or, you know, I could just do... No, it's just taking this corn so long to grow. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll do this patch in like a, in a moment when it's just about ready to harvest. We'll replace that with corn. You know why I don't do that. You know why I don't do that. Oh, this is on fire. Just expand the home zone. Put out the fire, everyone. What are you do? What are you doing? There we are. Good. That was our wood. Um... We have our shelves now. Oh my gosh, look, there's miniature things on the shelves. That's so, that's actually very cute. Um, let's see, are they able to put on, they can't put on chunks. This is interesting. Okay, well, we are going to be using this for textiles. So, um, preferred for textiles. It's nice to see that it's not automatically um, weapons too. That was a little bit, uh, Honestly, that was kind of an annoying thing, how it was always automatically weapons on there. Uh, I didn't really use them for that that much. Raw resources. Whoops, manufactured again. Uh, textiles, yeah. Here we go. All right, so maybe not perfect, but good enough. Do I think I'll do a vampire run? No real plans to. Um, I don't like to have to eat people in order to keep everything going. I just feel like, you know, people are in short supply in RimWorld. But, uh... Well, maybe that's not true. I, I just, I, I hate having to go to the effort to find a man and hunt him down just to keep everyone alive, you know. That seems like, that seems like a lot of effort to have to go to every month. What, what, we're, what I'm trying to say here is the hemophage trait seems a little, uh, a little bit like a lot to maintain. Kind of like the raider faction, how they get upset whenever they don't raid. And I know I'm objectively not good before. Or not good at it. Got to be Tyler. Thank you for the prime. All right, there we go. Gift from a Sondler. They gave us a recurve bow. That's actually a rather useful present. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm going to give this to the other kids because 
Oh, great. You'll do well with this because are you the one who lost... Oh, you lost your arm. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't know how good you'll be with a bow because you have one arm, but somehow this makes sense in this game. So I'm... I mean, I'm about that, you know? I'll give you a chance. I'm not going to stand in front of you, but... <sighs> You know, what I'm trying to say is I'm there for you, and I believe in you, and I want you to feel better. Hmm. Okay, make the kitchen nice, I say. Make the kitchen a very nice place to work. Except we don't need this here. Uh, ship to the stars, we can ignore that because the goal of Rimworld is to create a thriving colony. It's never been to create a, you know, a... It's never been to get off the planet. Why would you want to end the game? It's just its just a pleasure to play this game. Oh, wait a minute. Why did I... Why am I rebuilding the airlock? I already have that. There, yeah. Um, mine that. This is where I'm going to put the double airlock for the doorway. Uh, actually, I may need to go even a little bit further in. Yeah, one, two, three. That'll be the doorway. Because I like to have one space between. Oni-chan damage. Thanks very much for the prime. Hmm. Have I made the children helmets? I haven't made any of the children clothing yet because our research is going so... Oh, wait, no, we do have complex clothing. There we go. Apologies for my, uh, for my dingusness. Hmm. We do have the hand teller bench now. Yep, we're just missing electricity. Okay, so now that we've designated this as a textile storage zone... Um, they should start to get rid of that. And let's also say... I guess they just haven't been up on their hauling tasks lately. Let's go ahead and say that we want food in here, and then we also want... Uh, herbal medicine can go in the fridge as well. I'll separate these things out as the fridge expands. But for now, that's fine. Other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a spot for hay grass here now. Eventually I'll make this into like an indoor spot, but let's just say storage, clear all... Uh, we'll call it critical priority for hay grass. Oh, wait a minute. What is it? Hay? Oh, just hay. Hay grass? <laughs> oh, God. Hmm. This is going to be a, a gene mod. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what people do with this. This... Expansion seems extremely moddable. Kind of like ideology. Like ideology, I wasn't as into the systems, but this one I was. But I could see how ideology was very moddable. Like it, it caters well to people trying to create a thematic thing. Okay, here we go. Now it's time for the corn. All right, the question is, will we have enough time? I don't know. Uh, I'm hoping we will, because corn has a slightly better time yield ratio, I believe. Assuming nothing goes wrong. Rice is a less risky food, though, because what if there's a blight on the corn, for example? You know, like, you could lose everything, so there is that. But at the same time, I don't want to be such a nerd. Let's have some corn. We'll keep some rice around. Okay, good, we're starting to get cloth and stuff, too. I think I'm going to tell one of these kids now to work on uh, hauling first instead of cleaning. Just so that we get more hauling done. We do need one dedicated hauler, ideally more. I think I was a little bit spoiled here the other day because I had those robots doing everything. Man, I, I loved it when the robots were doing hauling. I really wanted them to do more cleaning. and I hate making a colonist do all those tasks. It's just so, like... You could have been somebody, you know? You could have been somebody. Like in the on the waterfront sense. Vanilla Expand... I can't wait to see what Vanilla Expanded does. Those guys are on it. That's practically like another game dev studio. About a game that has a game dev studio already. They're just so good. They're just so good. Though, to be fair, I mean, if, if other games had the modding community that this has, it'd be amazing. Like, Zomboid in this. I think that was part of what attracted me to them in the first place, is just that there's so much content. There's practically, like, infinite content for these two. But in RimWorld, you could make it into literally anything. 
Okay, we really just need everybody to do hauling now. This is why I like setting my priorities like this. Look, we could just get all the stuff put away. You're going to be so satisfied in a couple of seconds. I'm just going to zoom out. I live for this type of moment. Wait a second. Why is anyone doing anything other than that? What, we're fighting? Why are we fighting? Val, at least you're not fighting one of the kids. Okay, it's just bruising. Biko actually is incapable of violence, so this isn't such a bad fight. He just kind of, like, tanks a few hits. He's like, uh... He's like a Nasus player. Why do we have pigs... ...that have just wandered in? Wait, do we, do we own these? Hang on a second, did I resize the screen again? Nope, I didn't. Okay, there we go. Oh, they just joined? I didn't even notice that! That's so crazy! Um, are these- are pigs actually efficient? I'm not sure that we can sustain any more of these, um, animals. I mean, I'm not really interested in keeping them alive. Hang on a second, I- I might have to expand my animal. Efficient pork chops. Well, there is a whole graph of how efficient animals are. I believe- ch I thought chickens and cows were the two that were only, like, really efficient. I'm probably going to have to kill Errol, too. Because these other ones are growing up. And I know that these are edible cows now. But we got to eat. We got to eat, man. Oh, look at all those textiles together on the shelf. That's really nice. Look at that. The way that they're all there together. Slightly confusingly laying out. But it looks so good. Hmm. We feed them. I'm not. I don't. Don't really want to spend all my time managing the pigs, but it does look very domestic to have them all there. I'm killing Errol because I just. I mean, I said. I said I would. Okay. Um. What else? The the, the base is more properly laid out now. All right. Everyone can go back to their normal lives. Except except the kids. They all. They have to do the work. There we go. Okay, so now, I well, what I might want to do is, now that we've got a lot of hay, I could probably keep these things alive. Um, keep them around for the... I was just so frightened by my own actions there. I forgot that I had him ordered off to death. Let's go ahead and create an animal flap. Okay, I use a barn here. Because I wish to store the hay somewhere that it won't rot and deteriorate. Let's go ahead and put the hay in here s instead. Um, I don't believe that we really need rice anymore either. So let's have like, I don't know. Uh, it doesn't need to be quite that many because we do want to keep some here. But let's say, whoops, clear all. We'll do important for hay. I believe I had this one set to critical. And we don't need rice out there anymore. They have enough food. Okay, so let's go ahead and see. This is... Kibble would also be good, but... Uh, I mean, it's more for, like, training, right? Pig's... Uh, Nisha's nutritionally efficient omnivore that does not require taming. Oh, because the pig is an omnivore. I hadn't really thought of that. So we could feed the pig's raiders. Um, I really hadn't considered this. Okay, yeah, fair. Based comment. Based comment. Um, I feel kind of bad. I don't really want to feed them people, because then that we're kind of eating the people. But it seems like a pretty good way to process them. I mean, we'll get, we'll get ready to process you. This is going to be an alarmingly well-organized colony by the time it's done. Um, hang on a second. Is anyone ready to... Biko, you can do this. Okay, butcher. Butcher the cow. I don't want the cow there. That's too sad. I mean bull. There we go. Meat's on the menu again. Okay, this is good. And then another thing that I want to do is work on the wooden hand. Because currently, no one still has clothes. And if I could do one thing to cross off the bucket list before this playthrough is over, it's put clothes on the people. Yes, I didn't mean for the pigs to eat the cow. I meant for them to eat the raiders that I have over here. If you saw me gesticulating with my mouse... Or did I do that? Maybe I didn't. Maybe I did it in, in my mind. Um, 
Huh, this is interesting. We can't have child tribal wear? Okay, let's get everybody some pants first off. Uh, until we have... Let's say, like, six. I think it's six. Yeah, it's six children's clothings that we need. Um, only allowed. Uh, yeah, we'll do anything. Look everywhere. Or just, oh, it actually requires less of the material. That's fine. Okay, um, take the best stockpile. That's fine for right now. I don't want to go too crazy with everything. Uh, let's just say, again, 80 to 100 and look at what's on people, too. They've really improved this menu. It's so good now. I like it. Count equipped. Yeah. Okay, there we go. And then we're just going to ditto all that over for shirts. I wish that you could just copy and paste the... Can you copy the bill? And then change the type of item it is? It's too bad you can't change what... Well, let me just see. No, I don't believe you can do that. Because that would be nice. Because I would just do exactly the same thing with the pants. Um, but oh well. There's probably a mod that does that, though. Question, do you need biotech DLC to get the kids? I do believe you do. I was interested in whether they were just going to add it to 1.4. I feel like it's a sell for biotech, but I was kind of curious if they would do that because, like, um, bring over the Sims crowd to RimWorld. I don't know. I, I've seen a lot of people who are like the Sims and get interested in RimWorld. And that's actually part of what I've kind of wanted to do with my channel is just open people to, like, indie games who are into more mainstream stuff. My mission here on YouTube is to spread tasteful indie gaming. There we go. Only allowed ingredients possible and satisfied. I think we're good there. Uh, did I put this into... Oh, this is how much they can use for the leather. That's fine. Okay, yeah. But yeah, I was, I was interested in whether they would just add that to the main game. Okay, there we have it. Pigs joining. Unhappy nudity. Well, we're working on that. The fridge is getting hollowed out. I think this colony is, like, pretty much set now. I mean, the pigs... Uh, the pigs went into the, straight in with the cows. Although they don't have anything to graze on, we could kind of improve upon that. Maybe they give them a big field. We just have so many animals in here, and I, I think... Well, at least it's going to be a source of fine meals. The main one is the cows, because they give you a constant supply of milk without having to kill any of the cows, and they reproduce. So that's fantastic because you can get animal products, which then gives you like pretty much an unlimited supply of fine meals uh, along with your plants. But that's the main reason I like cows. Cloth the people. <laughs> Benefit of children is... Uh... I never understood why people would get angry when mentioning that RimWorld could be played like a more interesting Sims. Yeah, I think that's fair. Like, it's the Sims with a lot more stuff in it, I kind of feel like. Oh, no. Why would you do this? I don't really want to stop you because you're just like a, you're just like a little child, but... Okay, okay. We could use some of these poor clothing items for, like, um, raiders when they come in for their prison cells. I do like a well-kept prison in this game i have to admit like a very well maintained prison is something to aspire after you destroyed the pen you evil boy or are you a, a girl hakuja how dare you fortunately i had the hammer icon on so everything will be fine mm, calf three has started to oh no where will she go Rope that calf. Squish that cat. Squish that calf. No, uh, hang on a second. Work on the fence. Mend the fence. Orange. No enclosed pens. No. Someone work on this before they escape. They're all getting away. They're like, freedom. There we go. Oh, they destroyed the wall in multiple places. The fiends. Rope. God, now we've got a... Not assigned to handle... Oh, there we go. Look at all the animals. That, wow. Oh, my God. Is he going to go for the... She going to go for the calf, too? Holy cow. Oh, my gosh. It's like old McDonald. 
Wow, that was such an impressive, like, ball handling maneuver. <laughs> wow. Amazing. Amazing. All right, well, we got a lot of granite here, too. This is nice. Granite and sandstone. We could add this in and make more wall. Oh, we have a wanderer joining. Varel. Should we accept an outsider? Hmm. She's willing to contribute, but not leave uh, voluntarily, claiming to have nowhere else to go. This, I'm surprised that we're getting sent a colonist. I wonder if we're deemed as having four colonists. Someone told me that it was half a colonist to have a child, so this would put us at a total of four, five, six, seven. So that would make sense, but maybe they aren't counted at all, because I would expect bad events before that. Um... Can we see her? I don't believe that we can see her, so I think we just have to take her. I'm willing to take another one, and if she's horrible, then we'll banish her. People arrived. She's people? All right, let's see what she's like. A digger. Digger is actually not that bad to have. Underground or chemical interest, misandrist. Misandrist might not be a really great trait to have here, but um, if you are an undergrounder, but you're not passionate about... Oh, no, is passionate about mining. Okay. Um, we'll just send you underneath the mountain, and you're never allowed to go out under there, and you get to see only women. And you shoot people from far inside because you're very good at shooting. I think that's your niche in this colony. Arctic wolf hunting scorpion. Where is scorpion? Scorpion is a small boy. Scorpion can fight, though. Varel has a... Oh, we finally have somebody with an actual pistol now. This is good. Okay, uh, this wolf is going to be pretty fast, so let's get everybody out of bed. Probably won't even get there in time. Varel, can you get a couple shots off on this thing? Let's see. Okay. Fire. You know what? In fact, just stand right there. There's, there's no time. There's no time. That was so inaccurate. And you have a double passion? What is wrong with you? Okay, um... Face your... Face your doom, Scorpion. We should name... It, you know what? Isn't it ironic that an Arctic wolf would come after Scorpion? You see what I'm doing here? Like, it's a... It's a very low temperature. It's basically Sub-Zero coming after Scorpion. This is canon, people. Scorpion and... Actually, you do need to defend them. Wait a second. Don't just charge in after that thing, though. Except is it mo it's, is, is its movement weakened? Here comes Sub-Zero. Wait a second, have Grasshopper going after that thing. No, Hakuja is down. Man, these children go down very fast, except for Scorpion is such a tank. He's like a, he has so much DPS. Jeez Louise. Hakuja uh, got bit, but didn't lose anything. I, I do get very nervous with them in combat now, though. Like, in light of what has happened in the past. None of my rooms are clean. Except the kitchen happens to be clean. Okay, I'm going to put down... I'm going to put down a... I should have reinstalled this. I don't have time for an infirmary yet. Fat fatality. <laughs> More like a babality. Ah, God. I love babality. I play so much Mortal Kombat 9. Oh, it's like one of my favorite games to play. That and SSX3. I don't know why. They just... I enter like a trance when I play those two games. Greetings Not Scorpion, LA. though. Alive Scorpion is stream. destined I'm for great things. For the occasion. What would that be? Like a tuxedo? Every day I come back and I sit on my couch and I put on a tuxedo to... Wait a second, did I take care of that child? Oh no, he just got into his own, but you know, that's probably better than this medical floor. Welcome to the medical floor. Why are you getting other medicine from over there? All right, get your good medicine. Uh, death in six hours, that is surprising. I guess they just don't have as much blood. That's what I'm starting to see. Raid again by the virus blighters. Uh, everything is on fire. Fly Purdue, thank you very much for the four months. Do appreciate that. How are you, Fly Purdue? 
Fly Purdue. And she remember saying, such a pleasure to see you. How are you doing? Would you get into a tuxedo for the for the uh, watching another streamer stream? Like I'm trying to think if I've done that for other content creators. Hey, good to see you though. Have you tried out the new Rimworld DLC? It's very good. You should give it a shot. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Coloss. That is a cool name, Colossus. Okay, are these guys any good at fighting? I neglected to look at this before. A mace is actually very good for AP. Gotta watch out for that. You are a threat. Deck bucks. Deck bucks? What is that? Like, he plays a lot of Magic the Gathering, so he has a lot of deck bucks? Where else would that come from? Okay, is the raid happening right now? Okay, they're going to prepare for a while, then attack. All right, uh, Varel is actually a very good shot, so I'm going to have Varel do some fighting here. Varel, go out and shoot that man in the face. Uh, and somebody else put this here. Darklight, uh, you work on that spike trap. Varel, you stand in the doorway and shoot him. Shoot him. And then the other two can just... You know, they'll probably die. And let's get some more spike traps out. We have so many pieces of wood for Pete's sake. For Pete Complete's sake. Put one there. They do avoid these spike traps as long as there's a way around them. Which is quite good. Which is quite good. Okay, this is this guy is the threat, so I'm going after him. Is he fast or anything like that? Um Misandrous, body moderate, so not really particularly fast. But let's just look at his health. Does he have any other conditions? Sometimes you can gain their movement speed. Hey, BP Woods, thanks for coming out. Just peachy. Does feel, it is kind of an occasion. Countless hours of watching the month. Life does seems live event does seem bad. Uh, you're a card, Fly Purdue. Mm, there we go. Arctic Wolf Revenge. I think we finished off that. The Flash Storm we finished off as well, so we can just dismiss those. I don't like it when they wander around near the raiders, though. Okay, really not going to be very good at long range here, but I don't want to get in too, too close. So let's just be careful. And also, too, every missed shot still counts for the XP gains. So, okay. Try to get in one good shot. And actually, Dark Light, just hang out right there for like two seconds. Veril, I'm going to run back to the base. Dark Light. Oh, we did get a shot off. Nice. Okay, and it looks like it wasn't even aggroed. Death in six hours. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and say you can just install that trap, and then the threat over here has been averted. Good. There we go. Okay. Nice. Done. Phew. BP Woods, thank you for the prime. Yeah, only only the base game on GOG, and I've been thinking about purchasing the whole game on Steam for mod management. Um, I do like GOG for its DRM stuff, but I do like Steam for its mod management. So, I don't know, maybe someday I'll do... I wish that they would physically release it. Why are you just going over there to look at the sky? I don't think that this is smart. Not over there, sir. He keeps wanting to go all the way over to the edge of the map. What a dingus. I mean, this guy's just going to expire like, well, this was very nice that I got to come out here for this raid. My friends came to the other side. I I, I was <laughs> shot and I just, you know, I, I'm fully zen because I didn't even need to react. I have stopped <laughs> undergoing mind fluctuations and I am completely enlightened. At least that's where he's gotten to. You know what? If if that's what you needed, then great. Now he's going to begin his assault. Okay. In, th in three hours, he's going to die. Just go over there. Literally just walk over there. I wonder if kids are as fast as adults in this game. Are the children as fast as the adults? Okay, we're being raided now at, at long last. My dream of being raided has finally occurred. Uh, mainly that guy who was the threat is just lying in the on the ground over there, though, so we should be fine. 
Benastra, you are you are the very good Pila thrower. This is like practically This is practically the Iliad and the Odyssey we're going through right here, isn't it? Come on. F ah, darn it. Okay, go over there. And are you going to walk into this? Yes, do it. This guy is non-violent. Don't bother him. Fur with the two R's. There we go. Mm. I mean, I think... You know what's about to happen here. Yeah! I like that. Uh, I mean, he's going to expire anyway, so why would we even bother? Eleven hours! I can't allow that. No. Um, wait a minute. Don't throw that peel uh, that way. Ah! No, it was just the knife that we were getting cut by. All right. I was hoping that this would be a quick and easy fight. Scorpion, you are a very powerful child. Why don't you go in there with your very large, sharp weapon? Okay, for some reason you're coming after the door, although there's an open wall with a spike trap over there. I don't Today buy I it. I accidentally pooped on my girlfriend's shower curtain in a tragic, I have food poisoning accident. This was I the comment I was expecting at this moment. Day. Mine was worse. I assure you, she laughed it off. I think, I mean, like that's basically what's been happening for this. Wait a second, is this child going to win this fight? Veril is getting effed up here. Jesus. Scorpion is so powerful, though. After his fight with Sub Zero, there we go. Oh, you even took another spike trap to the face. Jesus. HP Live Laugh Lovecraft. Thank you very much for the sub. And no GFBC mic box uh, small. Thank you very much for the 200 bits. Okay, you know, we don't even really have to stress it because our adults will handle this fight. Hang on a second. Who got infected? Hakuja. Is Hakuja the one who's super immune, though? No, it, uh, rather, he is not. It's fine. Okay, um, rescue Hakuja and then go tend to him. Hopefully this raider will be distracted by the corpse of Sub-Zero, the Arctic Wolf. Good, Veril's looking healthy. <laughs> You're looking really good there, Veril. 15 hours, don't go to sleep after that. Take care of your people. Jesus. Here we go, Biko and Grasshopper taking good care of everybody. All right, at least we're spreading the medical skill around. Our colony's a little bit more in shambles than I thought it would be, but we're gonna go ahead and finish off this airlock. There we go. Jeez, Louise. All right, I mean, like, my colony is... It feels efficient. It feels like I did something right. None of the children got a, you know, anything, like, really bad happened to them. I mean, I know some bad stuff happened to them, but most of it is, like, fixable or reversible, um, at least in the context of RimWorld. But, you know, we can't turn back time, and I think that our colony is just going swimmingly here. Uh, we are swimming in good fortune. We got another colonist now. Again, we have, what are we up to, 11 now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So with 11 colonists, we're super OP. We got all these kids hitting for us. Scorpion, I think, is going to be a like a savage warrior of a man. He is an employable professional. He is a mercenary fighter. He has green dreadlocks. He's a boy. What was he? He was a schoolyard outcast. A modest but proper upbringing. Despite a good family background and plenty of support, he struggled to make friends and was often bullied. He learned to work or play alone and avoided socializing to avoid conflict. When conflict did arise, he would retaliate violently. This guy is dangerous. Hang on a second. Why are you eating raw meat? All right, yeah, we, clearly we have to clean up our colony at least a little bit. Where is Biko? Can you do some cooking for me, please? I would really like that. I should also give you that as priority one. Where is Biko? You do have it as priority one. Why aren't you doing the things I want you to do? <sighs> I mean, raw meat, is, I do like a good rare burger. This is true. I used to work in a restaurant. I was like a... First I was a busboy, and then I became a food runner. 
and then I was a waiter. But I think the food runner was the most fun I had. Although I had to stand underneath one of those extremely hot lamps. Um, I don't need this anymore. We can use this instead. Although I had to sit under uh, at a very hot lamp, um, it could have been worse. <laughs> it could have been much worse. Um, oh yeah, I developed a taste for rare burgers. It's just so good. Like you get the original taste of the meat, but like not so Honestly, like even more on the rare side is okay. Actually, why am I doing this? I don't know why I'm making dusters. We're, we're more in need of parkas soon. Um, and I do have a passive cooler, so we shouldn't die from that. Okay, let's do it until we have... And I'm gonna keep making this like... Let's make it like... We'll make it 10 so that we're ready for when the kids grow up. So that I don't have to go back and do that again. Because this is gonna be... There's gonna be a lot more clothing micromanagement, but fortunately they've made it so that you can manage this stuff better with the tools that Tynan has given to us from his chair that he's sitting in. Um, I wonder what kind of chair he sits in. Here we go. Okay. Um, fabric or leather. There are some things I wouldn't make it out of, but it's fine. I digress. Um... How many child soldiers do we plan on having in this colony? Didn't really plan on it, to be perfectly honest with you. But, I mean, there are children soldiers here, so we might as well make use of them. Like, it seems like it would be rude to not. Not suspended. Make a parka. I think we're good there. Allowed crafting skills. Fine. Only allowed ingredients. Blah, 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 blah. Good. Done. I always leave something out on this menu. And then let's also go ahead and... Oh, yeah. Pants. That would be... Probably good. I mean, you don't need them. Like, you know, with nothing but a t-shirt on. Um, I never s felt so much like I was just wearing a, uh, well, nude, you know? Nude. I mean, if you were wearing just a shirt, I don't think anyone outside would be like, that man isn't nude. Um, hmm. Where are we going from here? Yeah, some of them are okay with that, though. Like, just wearing a duster, right? And nothing underneath. That would be kind of a risque way to walk around. You know, like, like practically the next step up after going commando. You know, going commando, like, not wearing any underwear, as they say. I've never done it. I've always been in underwear. From the moment I was born, I was born with underwear on. But you know why? Because I'm modest. I'm modest. Here we go. Let's get this wooden door out of the way because we don't want to combine these two things. Here we go. Try to keep that kitchen clean, baby. Keep that glitch that that kitchen glitchin kitchen clean. There we go. Good job keeping that kitchen clean. Keep the dirt out of that kitchen. When it, have one of the boys clean the floor. Clean the floor, boy. The tantrum. Please don't destroy the expensive things I've been building at the expense of your worldly comfort. Oh, you keep destroying the most annoying things to d have destroyed by someone. I mean, the cow is going away. The cow's like, watch out for me. Look at the animals escaping. Like, finally, other foods that we can eat besides hay. You bad, bad animals. Where can I get that? I think Benastra was... Yep, you are quite good with the animals. There we go. What an efficient child. Now get back there into the blood cave. There we go. <laughs> All right. Um let's get this if let's get this thing laying out a little bit more. There we go. Thank you for the $5. I'm a never nude. Oh, like Tobias from uh uh Hakuja. Intense pain, pain learning to profit. I mean, we do have a chalkboard. Hmm. I don't really know how this whole learning thing works, though. I mean, we got toys for them to play with. Let's go ahead and look in the info. Stone like service placed near a lesson desk. Blackboards increase. Oh, so we got to actually build them some, like, desks. Hmm. School desk. Huh. Desk where adults can teach lessons to children. I did not think that this would be in there. Uh, wow, this. Feels a lot like the children in learning mod. 
which I didn't use too much. I think I had the children, but they weren't really learning very much. They were just kind of around, picking things up and putting them down around my base. Am I worried about infestations in my fridge? Never know how to approach building a fridge under mountains because of that worry. I think as long as you keep it beneath, I can't remember whether it's refrigeration or freezing temperature, you shouldn't get infestations in there underground. Uh, the one thing is you do want to have, you do want to have some dedicated melee colonists in Rimworld. Like, see the airlocks I have here? I can always stack up three colonists against one mega spider whenever I do get infested. So anywhere you think that infestations are going to spawn in, like under mountain, like the, the truth is I'm just not so precious about my colony anymore. Like I just know how to deal with infestations decently well now. So you always want to have three people fighting every mega spider and they have to come in from a long way. That's, that's how you deal with infestations. Nothing to be afraid of though. Good, good. The airlock is finished. Hakuja, have you developed immunity yet? Yes. You are an evolved boy. You are evolved. I think we've pretty much accomplished everything we wanted to with this colony. We have all of our people sleeping happily together in a heap. We have a colony of 11 people. It's pretty well laid out. I know that there's blood all over the floor, but this is actually quite well organized. Um, Hakuja overcame an illness, you know, we had Scorpion fight Sub-Zero, the wolf, like, thematic and climactic. I'm, I am emotionally invested in this colony now, and I hope that these, um, these young people can overcome. We do have more old people joining us. Now we have an elder, Veril, um, but we have our refrigerator laying out. We have our kitchen. We have our fields. We made it through the, the heat of summer. We have a stockpile. Zone. I mean, of course, everything is in like the wrong spot. But the truth is that it's a very organized mess right now. And that's kind of what I go for after one uh, video's worth. We did figure out a little bit more about the learning with the school, too, because our kids want to do some learning. I might actually send them out to do a little bit more of that rather than just work. But um, yeah, you know what? I mean, our colony is pretty much up and running. But on that note, I think that that's a good place to leave an, uh, uh, a bookmark in it. We're going to put a bookmark in it right here. Um, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and save with all of my other failed colonies. And then uh, we're going to send you guys away of another stream.